What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend Galactus here with the new game plus walkthrough for Black Myth Wukong. As you guys have been following my guide for Black Myth Wukong, we have done everything in the normal playthrough but we have not yet achieved the platinum because for the platinum you need to go and almost finish the entirety of uh, new game plus because there are materials that drop, there are certain armors, there are certain things and spells and other stuff, certain weapons as well that you can only craft in new game plus. So for that you will have to do a new game cycle. What I'm going to be doing this time is that I will be treating this as a complete uh, trophy guide where I will be showing you every secret and everything like I will not be uh, playing, uh, I will be skipping all the cutscenes but I will be going around and picking up everything that we would, uh, that you would need to pick up throughout the story like if you follow our walkthrough till now you will obviously have everything but I will be rushing through the game I will not be messing with all the enemies or anything I will be skipping the enemies wherever I get the chance but we will definitely be doing all the bosses, all the secret areas, all the optional bosses and everything else for this game so with that said and also there are some trophies which will unlock right away when we get to the uh, like the first couple of cutscenes or something like when we get to chapter one or something if they don't we will get them don't worry like all our portraits are done the final portrait entry we get when we start new game plus only so i think we get the portraits perfected trophy here and a couple more trophies here and there i'll let you guys know on the commentary whatever trophies we are popping and apart from that i'll just let you guys know like we will be picking up all the collectibles. I don't know exactly the new game plus uh, scenario like do I still get to pick up the pills I've picked up or the curios and soaks that I have picked up from the small treasure chest. Uh, like where they will be, where they won't be. Like some of the drinks and soaks we have already done, all the gods we have already earned. So I may not show all the locations for that but apart from that everything I can I will try to show everything and also once I'm done with all of this, I will try to come back, like once we reach chapter 6, I will try to run back and show you everything quickly. I'll do a quick recap, so then you, that way you guys can check whatever you have missed, wherever you might have missed it. Just in case, it's a very brief chance, but in case we do that. So with that said, let's start a new cycle. Yep. Get this. And skip this. Below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me. All of you. There you go, we get six senses secured. We get portraits perfected. There you go, people told you we'll get portraits perfected. And Master of Magic, I think all the spells. There you go, Lantern. For that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. Oh man, grab a head. Denying your guilt now only delays my triumph. I got hurt by that.
All right, into chapter one. But I want to get to the end of chapter two quickly. Chapter three is still going to be a long grind. Chapter three was my two longest videos for any chapter. That one was big one. Chapter two and three are actually big one. Why am I talking? All right, chapter one. Let's start kicking some butts. As I said, no need to. Why did I not lock onto them? Not whatever. Open this up, and we come to a shrine. Also, now in New Game Plus, every time you get to a shrine, buy everything. There are usually useful things for sale. Good luck to you. Uh, let me check this shrine. It will have something useful for us, I believe. Ah, oh, we can upgrade armor here only now. Headband, yeah, shine, what? Hang on, let's not upgrade. Let's see what we can buy because I'm pretty sure we can buy stuff. Yarn and stone spirit. Stone spirit. I've got the of this. Endured lotus, snake head mushroom. I have all of this. Ooh. Let's see if there is any armor we can craft. Nope, don't want to equip anything. What was it? Cannot craft anything now. Let me see weapons if there is anything new. Oh, there is a new weapon I can. Loom pearl. Ah, oh, I need four more loom pearls. Then we need to kill four more looms for this. Attack up and critical hit chance also. Up. And this one. Sky piercing horn, one more. It's fine shooting from the staff. Oh, yeah. looks good. Oh, this one is locked. Oh, this one is required. This one cannot be done. Hey, eh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, okay, so we have all the spells and transformation done. Oh, 
for the stop the world. Yeah, that guy's still there. Ah, oh, that poor monkey. He's still gonna run away? Always runs away, but well... We have... Sanda of Form. We go here, I think there's only some will to absorb. Maybe a chest here on the right. It's nothing useful, but yeah, there is a chest here if you want to get it. So I am treating this like a complete walkthrough, so why not? There is no chest there. I die, bro. Don't oh, waste my time fighting me, bro. Just look at me, die. I'm like. Oh, by the way. Go to relics, you have the final relic now, freed of mind. Uh, moderately increases light attack damage when the dash performs certain powerful moves that duplicates will follow suit. But this is one which is very useful, like if you do a heavy attack, all your duplicates will do a heavy attack. Life saving strand escapes death and gains significant damage reduction. Short duration after activating the life saving strand. How do you activate the life saving strand? I don't know. Ooh, light attack damage. Yeah, I say go for unified mind, man. Oh, ha, ha, ha. See, Rocky, there is just some build to absorb over there. I don't. Maybe an enemy with a spirit drop. I don't know if the enemy head does drop anything. Maybe he does. If you're missing a spirit, maybe try kicking his butt. See. Got a couple of hits on me. I should have healed up before. Killing, absorbing that well, but eh, it does not work. I have a lot of health now. Like for the chapter 1 and 2 bosses, I definitely have a lot of health. Uh, Jade Lotus. I don't think I need to pick up Jade Lotus, but why the hell not? Uh, that's it. Let's keep going. Let's go kill our first boss of this chapter. This guy is like not even going to worry us. Oh man, this guy fell down hard on his butt. Alright, bro, die. There you go, people. Bull got down. Nothing of use here. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Supposed to be a meditation spot here somewhere, I believe. And I could be wrong. Um, is there anything down here except some more frog guys? Just broke I should be skipping this thing. Okay, I will be two better people, don't worry. Okay, like that guy too, skipping that guy. Yeah, the meditation spot is now. Supposed to be our first meditation spot of the game. Oh. 
Come over here, you meditate. I don't know if I get sparks from this now. Let's check. Wanna skip this? Uh -huh. What happens when you skip this? Oh yeah, I do get a spark. I have... Oh, it says 99. Then it gave me 0. What does that mean? Do I have any points to, to level up? I have three points to level up. Uh, yeah. I'm going to unlock all my star stances and you know start doing some major damage. I just want to know if I can go and do the uh -huh. Wait, you don't think you can just okay, not skip this, unfortunately. It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! <laughs> uh, it might be humble. But my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. Yeah, just re transform, man. I want to pick some butt. That's why I don't have the patience. <laughs> Now I'll just quickly run around and show you where everything is in this particular region. Like there's supposed to be a chest or something here. Yeah, no, just a little. This here. Now there's going to be a chest here with someone guarding it. There is supposed to be a big guy. Does not act like a big guy. Like, that is easy. Oh, I did not upgrade my star coin, sorry. My bad. I should be spending a lot faster than this. Okay, we will repelling my recommend. Now this one, if you pull it up, this will be a uh, enemy. He'll try to grab you. But he will fail in this. And he will just die. Oh, that is it. Nothing of use over there. Now we have to go here. I don't know if we already have the lung cells or we have to go back to chapter 2 and pick them up. This is where you fight the first room boss, the red loom, I believe. So let's go and check by the way. He said, I'm not sure if it drops his spirit or not. But yeah, we cannot go through here right now. So I have to go back and go and pick the uh, Zoom Scales again in Chapter 2 paper. Couple of boss fights here. Let's do the story one first because I think there's a meditation spot right after that. Like these guys are in straight in your path if you run to them. Don't think there's anything here. Might be that a couple of enemies have drop their spirits so you get the spirits of everyone you fight in this game I'm not wasting time picking it up you know what I'm just gonna do a run to show all the spirits by the end this is supposed to be our first transformation hmm another monkey I see why don't you lay down your weapon and join me in goodness mercy what say you
nice damage. Oh my god, this guy on fire. <laughs> he was trying to put me on fire, huh? Eh? So he can put me on fire, bro. Oh, so this is on fire, now die. Where do I don't think we can pick up his weapon this time. Or can we? Ah, we can. What would it have to do now? Hey, yeah, you got red tides again, people. Don't see the point. But you get it. I hope you are happy. And absorb all of it. Uh, this is the first bell. You have to ring this for the secret boss fight. Let them know, bro. Now we go and do the wandering white, the one spirit that I used through my entire first playthrough. There is something on the lower left here. I don't know what this. That's an archer over there who's shooting, so I'm not bothering with him. I can deflect all his arrows and then kick his butt, but I'm like, what's the point? Okay, we got one more spirit. Let me do my staff spin. Up. Foundation. Oh, my staff spin is not up at all. I need to start putting points in staff spin now. Oh, not now, again. And let me show you the use of this one. See, when I do this, now if I execute a heavy attack, all clones execute a heavy attack. See? And this guy is done. Every strong attack or powerful attack I do, everyone hits him with it. So pluck of many becomes pluck of so many. Can take this. We got another cut I beat and another blood of the iron ball. I think you can get your curious slots up to five, but I think not right now. Wait, do I have more curious slots right now? No, not right now. We'll get them up, don't worry. As we go along. Let's get the chance to get them out. There is something to pick up there, not gonna bother. Once you get to chapter 3, I'm gonna start bothering with picking everything up because I am low on some supplies. If the store is not selling them also, I did not check the store. <laughs> At the last shrine I went to, silly me, and check the store at this one. Somebody dares to shoot arrows at me, huh? You! And you thought your shield will help. Come on guys, that's just... CD. Okay, now we are at Gaonian Temple. Oh, this is another boss fight. Keep quiet. You don't want to set off that beast. In the backyard is Black Wind Gwai's ally. Calls itself Link Shutsa. Considering your strength, I suggest you get away while you can, little monkey.
Hmm. Okay. Nothing to buy. So nothing to worry. G. Again, wasting my time. Why am I doing this? Why do I do this? Yeah, I know you don't know, baby. You act like you don't know, actually. Wait, I have not rested up. Okay, there's a chest here. I think one more on the other side. There's supposed to be a tiny chest here with a. There's no turning back. Yeah, who's turning back, bro? I am Wu Kong. Mm, no. Whatever. Got a rest up at the shrine, then go kick some butt. Now that it's dead, you might as well take a good look around. Again, run around here to pick up some seeds or some, you know, plants and all if you want. I'm not gonna bother with them. Now, do I get pills here? Nope. Item converted into will. See? This is the issue. Now why is it converted into will? Converted into experience, bro. At least make it useful. Okay, rest up. Nothing here. There is a horse quite close by. Is it far through here? No. First interaction with the horse NPC. It's coming up and a meditation spot as well. Not here, not here, not here. Yeah, yeah. Let me kill these guys first. Now that guy seen me, so let me just kill him. Alright, Punky is back, yep. And here is your first interaction with the horse NPC. Before that, anything to pick up here? No. Center of air, meditation spot, let's just meditate first. Okay, now talk to this guy 55 times. You don't look like a Yagwai from these parts. Uh, have you come to earn the Blackwind King's favor? Uh, hear me. Don't waste your time. Lies about cheating death. 
and even the treasures. His followers are all of them. Blackwing Kwai is a sly one. He preaches. I don't know why you are here, but you should now and press the time. Fare thee well, then. Was it done? I don't know how I'm pressed. No, oh, okay. That's done. Moving on, on the right there is a chest. Let's get that. Think I hear an enemy? Do I? Yeah. Oh, he was about to jump. I broke his jump combo, man. Sorry. I'm not even getting sparks from meditation going. This sucks. Monkey ball. Just getting a lot of will. I mean, a lot of experience, but not a whole lot of spark. Snake head mushroom. Please come in handy. Go straight to pick up some will. I'm gonna follow the story, but go here to pick up some more will. If you want will, like I have 127,000, so I don't know what I'll do with all that will. But come here to pick this up. And then keep moving on ahead. Oh, another shrine. Over here there is ah there is, there is there something is there. Or will be another item converted into will, we don't know. Oh, we got some powders. And a longevity decoction, which is good. So it's gonna get his head back in. Thoroughly back in. I don't think you get his spirit ever. But anyway. I digress. If you go on the left, that is a shortcut to the first main story boss of the area. Of this area, I mean, not the first main story boss of the chapter or something. But go through here, you'll meet the old man first. And he will give you the chance to, like, the technique to absorb. Mm, well, you can unlock it here. Let's see. For Where does my sound go for it? Like there. Fair the road has clicked. Your heart. Will oh, this is your first meeting with the old the man. Road has your heart. We will meet again. So you have to meet this guy and the horse guy. Why? You know, like in every chapter, once in every chapter you have to make this paper. Okay, let's go and kill our first frog boss. These guys will get up. I am not in the mood to bother with them. Don't give any will or anything like that. Totally, 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 utterly useless. Do I use pluck of many on the frog boss? I don't think I use pluck of many on the frog boss. I think I just kill the frog boss. There is a frog boss in the distance over there. I don't know if you guys can see him. But he will suddenly jump out and try to attack us. Like, not attack us, try to totally murder us actually. And we are going to let him here. Where is he? This guy. There you see a frog guys. Oh frog guy is dead already. Sorry frog guy. Oh, should have given you a fighting chance or any chance for that matter. I think you can absorb a spirit. Yep, there you see. You can absorb a spirit. There you see, convert spirits to will. Why are you converting everything to will, man? Convert them to freaking experience.
Oh, also by the way, uh, one thing I should let you know instead of preservation of equip the golden car. Like you will unlock new bureau slots so equip it then if you want to but this uh, golden car helps because that way you can you know the drop rate for the enemies will increase for items and whatnot so in case you like if you're just playing normally and there are certain enemies that can drop something so it helps with the grind you know now i'm going to ignore all these guys and just go to the next boss fight Pick some stuff up here. I don't think there's a chest or anything here. There's some stuff for you to pick up if you wish to. No, you say this guy would have. What do you say? Stung me with his poison, but I did not let him. Now these guys are going to die. Oh, first time they have hit me, I believe. Oh, they're in the second time. I mean, till new game plus. First or second time that they have actually interrupted a combo I was doing. Now here we are going to fight Gangmo. This humble one's name is Gangmo. Should my demise come by your hands, please pass this message to my master. Searching for deity, mortals do aspire. Can't skip it. Braving immortality, Yao Guai's surely will conspire. Mm, come on, minion. Let's kick his butt. There you see. And everyone jump on this side. Ooh, 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 I like this. This is your second bell. Bring it. There is one more formula we need for page preserver. I think Shine Monkey will give it. I'm not sure if Shine Monkey is going to give it to us or that. Uh, what do you call him? Zoo Dog is going to give it to us. So Zoo Dog is going to give it to us, then we have to wait till chapter 2 to get it. Over here on the left, you have a Luigi of Evergreen Wine. Be sure to pick it up. Oh, it is also item converted into Will. Seriously? I don't need more fragrant wines. I thought I needed more fragrant wines. Definitely need more awakened wine worms. Don't convert those into Will, bro. I will be really, really sad. Not just sad, I'll be really, really angry if you do that. I'll be pissed, bro. Okay, now we go kill this guy to get Ken Monkey. Oh, this we can skip, thankfully. Ah, oh, we got another call jam. Open this chest up and go with it, Shen Monkey. This is this tiny piece of gold. And now let's talk to Shen Monkey. Well, the rank of Burbara. I brought. 
Okay, I can upgrade gods and drinks. Nope, upgrade it to the highest tier. Upgrade drinks. I need three more awakened wine worms. Brew stuff? Oh, no, I know. Let's see if he is selling something. Tree tank gods. Goalie recovers god uses. Well, let's try it. Not that we are going to use it. Celestial Lotus Seed. Think of it as me earning a And this is in battle recovers gold use upon resurrection in battle. Hmm, I have enough money to buy it. Try it as you will. Joy is what counts. Okay. So that is a drink we got, right? Like a soap we got. Upon resurrection and battle. We are going to get some resurrection powers. Something. Uh, I don't know. Well, this is done and done. Now oh, I think we have to play all the way to Zudok at least. So, moving on. Another boss fight and then we do the secret boss. I can skip this. Awesome. Don't use your strand right now. To what end? Kill him normally. Use it in the second phase. What? Seriously? Hey, jumping monkey, come here, bro. I think he dodged it. Oh, he did not dodge it. Okay, there you go. Come here. Die, bro. Don't make me call my monkey. Okay, now I can call my monkey. You have forced my hand. Bro, you forced my hand. Now you shall face. Moving, bro. Time for you to die. There you go. Easy, busy. Skip it. He ran away scared. Seek. The three bells. Have you seen them all? Yeah, I just trying to hold them. Do you too desire that which they ceaselessly hold dear? The bells. Three bells were set in the mountains since the black winged wise returned, yet no one is. See they hung someone over here. 
these enemies will all wake up to die by my hand. Come on, guys, die already. Anyone else? Okay, now we ring the three bells and we get transported to the secret boss fight. Nothing here to so look or oh, oh, sorry, press the wrong button. I get excited. This is the Elder Jinchi secret boss fight, and there is a shine over there. Over here, there are a few chests. All of them usually have an armor piece, like on your first run around. This time, I think they'll be giving us tiny pieces of gold and whatnot. Item converted into will. There, you see, I don't know. This item will probably be just converted into will now. I need use this for my will now in case all this, all my items are getting converted into will. I am getting pissed. Like, convert them into experience, let me develop. That is still understandable, but converting them into will is... It just sucks people. It really 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 does. I don't I think there's anything on the left. Let me just take a look. Uh, there is nothing here and there is... Oops, nothing here. Go to the shrine, rest up. And then... Let's kill this guy. Buy everything from the store now. You should have enough will, enough money, what not and what not. Just buy stuff. This fight is going to be a long one because this guy goes into phases where he regenerates health. I'm just gonna skip it. So I think it is but He does a lot of damage man, he's doing good damage. There you go, it is empty, you're on fire already bro. Will you cut it out? See now, at this point I don't know if Lantern Sign will help me. Let's test it out. Nope, it does not help me. Getting My mistake. That was not my plan, people. Come <laughs> on. 
Ah, I healed up. Is he still not dead? Don't die, bro. No, don't let him run away. There you go. Yoga King Elder Jinchi. Done for. Okay, now that Elder Jinchi is done, we get teleported back. We summon this. It will fade away. This will give us more will. It is supposed to give us an item, I think. And let's just run to the next shrine now. Some will absorb points and whatnot over here. I am going to ignore them for now. I mean, not ignore them if I can pick them up. There you go. Pick it up. There's this enemy over there. I don't think he respawns. Like a dancing rat or something. I don't know. Okay, one more far. Let me see if this will give me another spark. Okay, so there are two things here. Number one, there is a pill over here. This is your first mana pill, I believe. And then you can meditate over here. I'm going to skip it. And we are back. One more enemy over here, who else I'm going to pick? Let's die, bro. Okay, I don't think there's anything to pick up or do over here. Oh. No, the t-shirt. Okay, we're at the shrine. I think there's two enemies over here who will try to die by my hand. Let's kill them. And let's rest up. Ha ha ha! 
You have some cheap tricks. Meet me at the summit if you dare! Intricate, but it's not hard to learn. That Black Bear's expertise is lacking. Serving Guan Yin didn't help him much. But what he left here could surely help us. Consider today your lucky day. <laughs> First, illusions traverse. You still have a lot of work. But give yourself the time you need.
deserves the reward. He once told me, out of sight. Streams over hills and through the black wind your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere.
You come at a good moment. One of my formulas was swallowed by a petty frog. Stay and help. A deity like myself will not short you. How wondrous! <laughs> you go. Cool. 
<laughs> Man follows Earth. Earth follows sky. Sky follows Tao. Tao follows nature. <laughs> These common pills, <laughs> I grant you. Hereafter, you may craft more yourself at the shrines. <laughs> I must retrieve a furnace forthwith. Pray forgive my departure. <laughs> Might expose me. Move now. Stop poking around. If them two heads lay eyes on us, we're both our misfortune back home. We'd hope to rebuild with the. But I saw that van. Our king has left. The two heads are the best fighters. The two heads are the best fight. No. And now they are hunting. We'll start. Why are you still here? I'd never take part in. Now that you have rid me of them, 
With a blinded king, we can never rise again. We must find the missing prince. The third prince? Look at us now, people. The king honored Ra. Some claim to we must find it then. Place. Don't worry. This place and the yellow wind. Let's make hate just, and I can make my own. You are. Flee! There are too many eyes around. I won't die here with. This place is a jump, and the yellow wind. Who would swear? Let's make haste to just leave, and I can make my own.
minds yearn to ascend, yet fame still holds sway. Their glory fades through time. Cares anyway. I'll gobble you up first. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
move there. Take him down. All right, folks. Moving on. Let's clear this area a little bit out. Just, uh Lab right over here. There are a lot of lab jobs here. You can choose to absorb them or not absorb them. Totally up to you. I am choosing to absorb them. I think there might be a chest here, or nothing yet. the first stands now. Let's see how much fun it or uh, not we can have the cat. It is a chest hair for sure. Okay, so moving on. Some enemies here. Also, since I'm doing the first things, let's unlock use the this gear we got from the secret in India. Try point double H. Stand ready! Hey, come on! We must stay indoors! Oh, mad damage on the This town, and this is another awakened wine worm, I believe. No, this is a sobering stone, which is another key item, apparently. And nothing of value over there, something of value over there, maybe. Nope, nothing here, nothing here, and let's move on. Okay, from here we can go here to fight some enemies and open a chest. I have item 
I'm not shock developing on me and fire developing on me, but we are good for that. Us back to where we were. Oh, sorry, not here, not here, not here. Over here. Moving on. There are some teeny tiny enemies you can kill if you want. Oh, it has to kill, I think. And here you'll get another guy to get his spirit from. All my stuff, but as of this, I think you can open this. Yeah, this store is the main route. On the left here, there is a village shop point. That's it, I believe. Nah, this is the fresh. I'm not bothering with the village of one, but over here there is a chest. And this is also the spot where you come to for getting the... What do you call it? And this is also the spot where you come to activate the mad tiger drum or whatever. Rattle drum. So there is a chest here. Pick this up people. Some enemy has gotten up and is trying to get to me. Mm. Isn't that supposed to be a chest here? My bad then. Well, moving on. I think if we jump down from there, we will go back to the spot where we came from. Oh, we cannot jump down from here, I believe. I think we just circle back to some place. Not important. Open this up. There is a Luigi Fragrant Wine right behind it. On the right. There you see. This item will get converted into will again. So that is how lucky I am. This is an enemy. That enemy said. So 
so moving on we are about to come to a shrine and after that shrine there is going to be a boss fight Here we are, let's rest up. practice my first friends I have zero practice with that I will okay. wasting time with these will gathered unless I'm looking to fill up my guard. I was looking to fill up my guard over there. Someone screaming and shouting over there not important. Open this chest. This is the only thing that is important. Unlock your friend and use your friend. There you go. This guy gave us the old rattle down, which will take us to the what do you call it? Mad Tiger boss fight. With all my skills, I failed. Yeah, yeah, you failed. You know. Take it. Now for the old rattle drum, we have to go to the two three spots we have already been at but the problem is that we have to do this in order uh, we'll go to that right after we finish up this side of this map this is a big map as I said like this is going to be is this an enemy no, not an enemy thank god this is going to be a bat slipping down on us here and he's going to die now Not good. The first attack, I will need a lot of attack. Good against bosses, maybe a normal enemy will be a pain with this one. So, place Reliquary, another Kiryu. Go back to Smash, change your weapon. Also, one more thing, I did not notice it last time. But we, if you go to self advance, you can see that we have another. Well guys, life saving strand. I think you can activate it to go up so like what do you say? To like instead of your minions you will get uh what do you call like a revive chance. And that is I believe what our That was like we got a curio or something that was alluding to something similar. 
But anyway, oh, this will put me back in the Stone Vanguard fight. I don't want to do the Stone Vanguard fight because, as you guys know, oh, hey, we got Gold Skull. This is one of the curios we were missing. I don't want to do the Stone Vanguard fight, so let me use my talisman. Get out of here. Now as I said, we will circle back to that stone vanguard and we'll do the Shigandam fight and the stone vanguard fight at the same time. Hey, we got a new soap. Yeah, code skill, what does it do? Using the code model in my own health for a short duration. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, not interested. So for now, travel to North Pinterest Bridge. No, no, no. Sand Cat Village. Oh no no, we have to go to somewhere else. So this is one side of it done. I think we go to Valley of Despair. Yeah, Valley of Despair is where we travel to. So we've done the left side almost completely, apart from our secrets and some stuff which you can now don't have access to right now. We we'll go and do the right side. You can go down here, but. There is nothing noteworthy down here. And also as we have already gotten goat skull, now we just need to pick up ginseng. Oh, this is an enemy. What more is ginseng? We got licorice. Licorice only works in the what do you say? Sand gate in the I don't know. Kingdom of Sahai. Yeah. Licorice only works in the Kingdom of Sahai. No need or use of trying to get it now. This is your Azure transformation, I believe, for the rock person. Some boss fights and stuff we have to do. Let's do them quickly. There we go. You die. You die. And we are in fight left. This one is supposed to be scary, but we are not going to be scared by this one. These guys are super annoying. Not like they do any significant amount of damage or anything. Okay, this is your first Buddha eye. Watch out for the sound. Whenever you hear it, you are close to a Buddha eye. This Buddha's eyeball. Got one. Now we are. Oh, another goat skull. Now that we have it, I think we'll keep getting goat skull. Huh? Anyway, don't rest up because we have a lot of enemies to kill over here. I'm going to go that way later on. First, I'm going to go here and talk to the man in stone first and foremost. Then check out the right area and then we start doing things on the left. Another agent saying we need to steal and send out something. These guys are annoying till you kill Mother of Stone. After that, they are not worth anything. Some bastard has got even the rocks on them. In that cave, should you uncover the reason, rocks oh. turning in. In that cave, should you uncover them. I think you have to kill Mother of Stone and then you have to come back to this guy. So I can hear another Buddha's eyeball. Okay, this area, keep an eye out for the plant because if you see any ginseng, pick it up, it can be one of the soaks or the drinks we are missing. I mean, I am missing, you may not be missing it. I for sure can. So, that is something to keep in mind. Uh, 
Ooh, there's someone attacking me from all the way up there. That is so annoying, man. So, so, so freaking annoying. I can't even tell you how annoying they are. Okay, that a nice health bit. Let me kick this guy. Oh. I die, bro. Die easily, just started by the shield. Uh, is that a plant? No, the plant. Keep running, I think there is one or maybe two enemy over there and a chest. Take this chest. Okay, another mind code. Awesome. Let me use my code here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we go on the right here. This is the side we have to clear up. Kill this side and there's a the chest. There is a chest here. Open it up. Annoying guys. There are two or three of these guys shooting at you. As I said, they don't do damage, just hit you, break your combos and annoy you. Annoying you is all they do actually. But you can fall down from here so be careful fighting these guys. Be careful. Yeah. Maybe you go. This is a second good eyeball. That makes two. Now oh, as I said you can fall down here but we are not going to fall down there because we do take fall damage folks. Now go over here I think going down here will just lead me to the man in stone. And yeah this is just lead me to the man in stone. Just making sure we know we straight 30 seconds. I'll try to make sure. You heard another Buddha's eyeball with like 5 8 I believe. That guy is trying to attack me from up there. I am gonna go and kick his butt in a second. Can I kick his butt from here? Oh, I can kick his butt from here. There you go, his butt is kicked. Uh, this brings me to the shrine, there is nothing here. This one is third. Maybe you can just absorb some very Oh three of them, three god uses replenished. Awesome. Mm, not going to bother with the guy above right now. Oh this is an another enemy. Another aging thing, this sucks. Now there's another Buddha eyeball here, but first let me get this guy but okay, this is done. On the left there is a Buddha eyeball and maybe a spirit. These guys few poison. If you kill the mother of stone then these guys vanish actually. So stop being a problem at all. Oi! Not see that. I mean, what? Thinking that there may be something there. Oh yeah, so he says wake up as well, and then you have to kill them again. Karate kid. Finally, the karate kid is down. Okay, this is a third Buddha eyeball. There are total six. No, so three down. Uh -huh. 
chapter 2 is a big area. I wanted to finish it up quickly, but that's not going to happen. I mean, don't think it will happen that easily. Let's absorb this and let's go to the right. And I think there might be a chest or a Buddha, but something is on the right for sure. Okay, there's a chest for sure. And there might be a significant chest as well. Uh, keep an eye out, like open all these chests that I am opening people like because there is a good chance of okay, it there and down there there is a guy who was shooting at us I am not bothered with killing him right now on the right here we came to where we were and there is another good eye out like eye ball number 4 now oh, just eye ball number 5 and 6 left which are pretty much on our path so we don't have to worry about those So we got Buddha's eyeball, now just go down this path I believe, this is the path we should be going down. Mm, this guy is dead. Oh yeah, there is a chest here. This has some useful item. Which will be converted into will for us now. I have already picked it up, there is nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Uh, don't be another enemy please, I'm not in the mood right now. Okay, now this place is a bit tricky. I just smash this guy. Because right behind him there you see there are two guys doing stone at us. And there's that guy who is regenerating a clown down there who actually put poison on you as well. We know who's going to get up, so when is he going to get up? There you go, got up, got his ass kicked. Now let's get, uh, get the shine first. There's a boss fight over there and a spirit over there. Uh, so let's get the shine first. There's been enemy shooting at us from there. This is your first grind spot actually. If you just run a circle around this place killing everyone, this is the first spot where you can level up. I mean, level up everything I mean. So, anywho, moving on. There is definitely a spirit drop there. Oh, fire bell flower, I already have the seeds for this. Let's see this guy. Someone is coming to attack. Yeah, this one. He already comes. Got so excited, he smashed his head already. Now this one, Mother of Stones boss fight can be a bit tricky on New Game Plus because the enemies are doing a little more damage than I want them to be doing. Uh, let's drop this as well. And we uh, are going to get swarmed by enemies here. But we have our strand as well, so... We can use that. You go to him and nothing will happen. You start hitting him and people will start spawning.
this is the... No, no, there are three, two more, more guys left there. of stone now this has unlocked the way to the final boss if you want you can go and finish the chapter right now but sadly we cannot because we need to do all the secret stuff again so this is your effect to the eye and let me go and take you to the sixth one right away Come here at the shrine, from the shrine, go left, and there is your final Buddha eyeball paper. Then now we can do the secret giant Shigandam boss fight. And now this guy just came to kill die by my hand. Okay, you hear that long mm. Not useful without a shield, are you bro? Ah, oh, told you, he's just without it. Oh, loom fight! I forgot the looms. There are two looms we have to do. We can do by now. There's only the chapter 1 loom and the chapter 2 loom. So let's do the chapter 2 loom first. Die already, bro. There will be another enemy who is going to drop his spirit for me, I believe this one. Yeah, yeah. Grab attack, craptastic. You know what, enough out of you. Idiot. Hey, made me use some mana because I was pissed at him. Not because he was dangerous or anything. So, we have the loom scales as I have already shown you people. Let's go and get the. Uh, what is this? Blue loom. What the hell? This will teleport us. This could be the black loom and this guy should not be an issue but he does have that thunderbolt attack that he punches the ground with. That can be a problem. Apart from that I don't know how we can fix it. Right. Apart from that as I said I don't believe we will have any problem with this feud.
Hey, everybody jump on him. There you go. Oh, no problem at all this way. Mm, you can transform them to a chest. We get another mind core. And we get a loomper. And we open it. And this item is converted into this is supposed to be a good item, I think. Maybe a curio probably. Mm, head back. Okay, now do I do the giant shield dunk fight? Yeah, I think I do the shield dunk fight. Talk to the big NPC and then do the shield dunk fight. In this guy, he has no skill for his practically useless. What is it? Practically useless. Hey, mind code. Nice. Thank you for the mind code. Talk to the big guy. Um, what is the meditation spot behind him? Let's do that and then let's do the giant shit and all that. Raise thy cup. Oh, go find something to. Oh, I did yeah. love them. <laughs> Enough with chit chat. I must quench this rub. The temple of Crouching Tiger. Thing. Okay, and now he's going to go to Temple of Crouching Tiger to get his first kit. Uh, where's the meditation spot? Not here, not. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> Mm, skip it. Mm, we got another spark. It's not showing this spark. Showing I have 99. I go and check. I don't have 99. Anywho, now when you have rested, this guy will be at the Crouching Tiger Temple. The temple entrance. We go get that. Don't worry. And there's a secret area we need to get to, that also we will get to. For now, let's do one of the coolest secrets of the game, which I personally love very much. We got a dual boss rumble people. And the best thing about is about that is we don't have to lift a finger to kill one of the bosses. So there you see all the stones right out there, those are, that is the stone vanguard boss, come over here, deliver your Buddha's eyeballs to this guy, and this is going to be the gang bang, and this will lead to the stone vanguard waking up, and they are gonna rumble, and you just have to sit back and watch. You just watch out for the, they do send out shockwaves to the ground, watch out for those, rest, just let them fight. See these shockwaves you have to watch out for. Rest. Enjoy the fight, people. There you see, when he takes another bit of his health out, he just wanna give him a power bomb. And that is your stone when they're down. Now, activate your friend. Set. Oh. oh, we got the stun out of stone and mine sword. Come on, brother, stop. 
I don't think this one can try and I'm going to do anything against this guy, but it's more than that. Oh, the fan is in good damage to him. There you go, she can dang down. Mm, this gave me a kind of feeling. More sparks, more mind cores, more, just more. Well, let's go rest up and go do the loom battle in chapter 1. There you go, rest. And travel to... Forest of Falls. Outside the forest, yes. Oh, that you have run past. Just run past these enemies. They don't give you any will. I mean, any good amount of experience or will, and they don't pose a threat. Even if all of them start chasing you, you are safe. Oh, hate hey, ginseng, but I cannot. Picking up ginseng here does not help me. There you see. Now you can hear for what he as the waters they go. Here is the waterfall. For what deed must all matter not known how to be? For what deed must those in the hands so woeful be? Must the red one be in the woods tree? Smoke rises high from wood of fire. Hit the back, let the beads respire. Uh, skip this. The old guy was talking was her, oh, but I was not in the mood for any of that. This is a proper dragon. I don't think he will have any good amount of damage to do on me. <laughs> another test. Must be another theory, but I already have it. Oh, one more thing. Remember the first, we have completed the first chapter and gotten the first relic again. So what you can do actually is go to relics. When you see this craving eyes, you can activate another part of it. So I am going to increase considerably increase the critical hit damage. I believe now when we do chapter 2, we can get some skills out of it as well. So with that said, Item converted into will. Now I just I have to run all the way back. Maybe just activate my talisman and get out of here. Let's travel back to where we were. Mm, right here we are on clash platform. All right then, folks. Moving on from here. Here we are going to find another spirit guy. Is that how it's going to be, huh? Come to me, come to me. Oh, don't fall down, Goro. I was afraid he's gonna fall down, but nope. So. Mm, 
There you go, the spirit has been converted to berry. There is nothing over here, but the meditation spot. This will give me more spark. There is another small chest with the pill over here, right here. And with that, let's move on. If you have not killed the tiger vanguard till now, this is where you will get your rock solid. No, this is where you will get your pluck of money for your if you have. That's not going to kill you, have killed or not killed. So if I got attacking me, I cannot dodge, I can go left or right. Does not really matter here, don't do enough damage to do anything to you. And you are right at a shrine here. Before that, you are going to unlock your new spell. This befits you grandly. Hey, luckily I've kept it close for its rightful owner. And there you go, pluck of money. We already have pluck of money. No rest of this time. Now we can go on the right for the main story path, but first we are gonna go here and start the uh, Mad Tiger first time as well, among other things. In the core right Taoist mini boss over here. And he said, Gather this, it will get converted into very Use your guard and then get. Oh, sorry. Get it. No, I'll take this. Another spirit for you, that is. Over here, there is an enemy starting another enemy thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm enemy guarding another enemy. Oi! Why then? Ginseng over here. Now oh, this is a lotus. Oh, fireball flower. Big guy over there. Ah, oh, at last, bro. Oh, he dropped another mind core for us. There are enemies here. Yeah, this one. Another guy over here. Okay, now see this is for the mad target. Use the drum. Let me hear my rattle drum. This will make all the enemies set up and try to attack us.
and this chest. That is first spot of the rattle drum. I'll go unlock the other two in a bit. Let me do everything in this area first. Okay, that gate opens from the other side. And this will take me back to where we fought the rat plane. So yeah, that is everything to do here it seems. Uh, say we go back to the shrine and go the other way, go to Ludox cellar. Oh, I did not see you there bro. Ah, you are going to die anyway. Hey, what's going on? We have to run back a bit. Now oh, let's rest up. Now there's a meditation spot here and also the place where you rest. Oh, I can skip this. Nice. Meditation spot and where you meet the um, over there. Now if you go into the cyclone over there, this will end the chapter. So don't do that right now because there's other stuff in it to do here. Dragon Jet Tower, there's a meditation spot, talk to the old guy first. Hurled by When the Long King did the four sons of the deities once caught in the th four long. When the Long King the four sons deities once caught in the four longs. Or the four waters, whatever. And meditate. Stay back. Now we finally go to Zoo Dog and you know use all our mind calls that we have accumulated so far. Do not walk into the cyclone. The path on the left, take that. Not through here. It is through here. Got another shrine here. Now I think we can talk to Zoo Dog and get another trophy. You cannot sit this. Oh, it's, it's you again. You've bested the Yaogwai. <laughs> Okay, now we can use them to make medicines. Self-refinement is the way to make golden pills. I can never repay you for saving my life. Talk to him any chance he got he'll give you some. Here, a token of my gratitude. Mind core. Nope. First go to store. And I think we can buy stuff from Yep, Soul Remigration page. This will be Yep, Page Preserver Trophy. So we got all the formulas there. Anything else to buy from here? No, nope. anything else is sold out. Now oh, make medicine. I think we can even use them to make mortal medicines as well, but first make celestial medicines. Ooh, yeah, three of three. From here and your sky and earth. There you go, maximum health 45. Awesome. 
Now Thai Quinjet will now defend. How many kills do I have? I have 16. And stamina recovery rate I set 1. So yeah, I upgrade my defense rate. Oh, it's using 2. Oh, defense plus 35, awesome. Okay, defense is maxed out. Now, Iron Bull Pill. Still resistance. Uh, let's go with Iron Bull Pill, man. Stamina recovery rate needs to go up. Uh, that's enough for now. I think we are pretty strong. And we'll get stronger soon. So now, let's to the second drum for Mac Tiger, we need to travel to. Uh, where do I need to travel to? No, Crouching Tiger Village. Oh, wait, first let's go to Squall Hideout and. Yo, we're back at Squall Hideout. Let's do the Man in Stone quest. We can buy some stuff from him as well. Mm, there are some quests yet to be completed before we can finish chapter 2. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. The Millennium Ginseng. I don't know what that is, but we have it. Okay. Okay, attack him and he'll turn into a boss fight. He does a lot of damage, but he does not have any health actually. Okay, now if you rest and come back, I think he'll trade with you, so just use your telegram. Run back to... Oh, sorry, nothing good. Run back to the square hideout. Uh, to the man in stone. So now he will be a trader. If he wants to kill Mother of Stone, this thing does not pick it up. I think I already said that. I don't know. I'm getting old. Light of the Iron Bull. Old Rich Beast Money. Old Blood of Heaven, why not? Soaking Stone, why not? And now this guy is done. So that is man and stone quest done and that's it. Now there is a question crossing tiger temple but before that I need to do a particular quest over it. Where is this what? Oh, that is hidden uh, yellow wind formation. Winter's Hamlet I believe. Okay, run back from here. So all these plants like the bellflower and steel, like ginseng plant actually I believe look so similar that I have not been able to figure out which is which. This is licorice for sure. Yeah, this is where you can use it again. Use the drum. Everyone will activate. Run back. Let me hear my rattle drum. 
That is part two. I miss my pa. Did you see it? Okay, all those enemies have opened up and are trying to kill me. <coughs> I am not interested in kicking their butts right now. Now we go to Sandgate village. Yeah, village entrance. Yep, that's where we are headed. Oh, did not activate this cutscene. Well, we are here and all the archers and everyone is dead, so let's just die. Die by my hand. Ah, silly goody. Ah, this is third place. You have to do this in order. Actually, you cannot go to come to this one or end the first time, and it will happen. So this is supposed to be the last one. You skip this cut scene, and now I think you can enter the well. Do you see all this growling you've been hearing? That is what we're gonna take care of. The mad tiger, this guy packs the fun. Oh, crab attack! Oh my, oh, come on, man. I don't think I'll find time, please. Brilliant people, everybody gets it good. Very good. Even in the end. And you can absorb his spirit now. This one offers a cord or a drink, no, a cord I believe. But since we already have it, we get more way. I can convert it into will. Mm, go back. It is a shine here, activate it and now let's do the other quest, the treasure quest. Uh, go to temple entrance. I remember the pig that we sobered up. This is where you talk to him. Of course, let's pick this up. This is ginseng for sure, but this is his ginseng. Ignore everything and go to the right. We will be here. Talk to him. Oh, this Help me score it. Help me score it. I've been crazy. Oh, to give it to him. I wouldn't. Mm, I have stopped the realm of gold. I hear the realm. Mm, and somehow. It, mm, I just tried those. Its people are not. A senior brother gave me a piece of gold. Mm. It's the right time now. Mm. I just tried those. It's yeah, people but... on. A senior. Mm. Repeating the same dialogue. It's the right time. Okay, now we go to this quest. And hopefully, we rid of the curse of the tiger finally. So travel to no rock rest flat. Okay, 
can simply run past these enemies. I'm just gonna run past them. And here I think we'll meet his brother now. He'll be like, why do you have the piece of all my brother was getting? Oh, he's gonna tell us to come with us. Oh, skip it. Now we can enter the store. Hmm, I have nine bucks again. No go in. Yeah, skip it. What a long cutscene. And this has teleported us to the kingdom of Sahai. Now, in this area, you have to pick up licorice plants. And one of them can turn out to be a soap or curio that is, we are missing. Or I think I already picked up the licorice plant that we are missing. We just need ginseng now. Fortifying medicament. Not in a city effect. Eh? Find iron sand, why not? Gold iron leaves, I don't want to. Licorice, why not? Now, right here, uh, it's going to be a boss fight. Uh, this is a tough boss fight. This is a curse of the tiger, as you know. This guy is the toughest of the tigers because he is actually the father of the two tigers. We have just killed. Yeah, I dodged you, bro. Now you can talk to him if you want, he'll just tell you about his sons and how he is now in no shape to be protecting the king. We are in Kingdom of Sahali. It's not Sahai, it's Sahali. I keep calling it Sahai throughout all my streams. I apologize for that. Sure, he's right there, then a long cut scene after that. Let's rest up first. Two hour left, we have a meditation spot. I'm just gonna run to it. There's a chest there. If you want, you can pick it up. I think it only has gold, nothing useful. But you can pick up this gold if you want. Oh, it has a knot of wildness, which is a useful material for leveling up your spirits. And a gold rich beast, as I said. That man in stone sells gold rich beast, you don't need to buy it from him. There is a meditation spot, you see that? You see? You see? You don't see? Okay, I will see in a second. Now you see? Now you see? Yeah, I know you see. Okay, level 137. Hopefully I can get to like 171 at the end of this shop too. Not that it matters because 
I am at sufficiently leveled up as I want to be. Enemies start getting tougher, I might be in for some trouble, but apart from that, I think I'm good. So go talk to the king now. He's going to summon the beetle, then we go fight the beetle. Once we have fought the beetle, we can go ahead and finish this chapter. You bested my vanguard! <laughs> then you do it. Bubban is out. You can talk to this guy if you want. Does not really matter. I said let's talk to you guys. Yeah. The boiling, the people sound the vessel. Let him finish his dialogue. It's right here. Now you just have to fight this beetle till you bring him down to half his health. Mm, then you're pretty much. Oh, I think you can just jump off. And you will not take fall damage this time. This one time, I believe. Otherwise you will take fall damage as you usually do, but here you can jump down and see, no fall damage. Why you did not take fall damage this time is not explained at all. This beetle does a lot of damage and is completely armored. Except for his... Except for his hand, he's a completely armor. Down to half health now he's just going to attack me a couple of times and then run to the right, I think running to the right is the first. How long is this guy going to do it? Yeah, now he's going to make him come out. This is a cutscene. Yeah, you just have to climb this beetle. It's a bit tricky for me with my drifting controller, but you just have to get on to this, then this, then this. And interact with this. Now the king will join you and you join can... You. Technically you can now sit back and just watch them fight.
Oh, I know. Where do we go then? On the folks' behalf, I thank you. All right, we got another sky piercing horn. I think this is what we need for one of the weapons or armor, I believe. Now let me just use my this one. Okay, back at Rock Rush Flat. Now, as far as I can tell, we have done everything. Uh, no, no, we have not done everything. We need to do one more thing. Okay, I will do the temple entrance. Now we can interact with this statue and actually open up this door. And go down and pick up some story stuff. We just summon the basement entrance. We go to the basement entrance. Did this guy? Oh, this guy is already dead. We can get by then. Oh, there's another guy here to die. And there's a pill here. And we move on. There's also a spirit here. platform and challenge over here first open this chest and with this open you see that that small chest over there that is where we have to get to but right down here there is a slide so I'm gonna see if I can get to it otherwise what you have to do is you have to press X and then turn just press X and then type run. That is all you have to do. But timing it can be a bit of a pain actually. So let's see X. Oh, no, X and run. Oh, got it. Awesome. This is another spell. Oh, Tiger Relic. Okay, this is a ring and soap thing. So we come here, we rest up, and we go to the final boss right now. Now 
I don't know if this fight has two faces or not. Defeated. Should have used my stand. Hmm. Get that set. Oh, second music video. With the wind and sand oh, you've it. endured here, did you reach the forgotten kingdom at the end of the land? Did you find the clash of stones and the fall of Tiger's acolyte? If you shut your ears and heed only your inner murmur, I fear the more you yearn for flawless endings, the further you stray from the path. Rats and cats, neither grasped their destiny, and yet neither admitted it. Listen closely, young one. Their complaints ride upon the wind. Okay, another relic we have. We can reactivate it. Another spark. More this. Got more stuff. And extra stuff. One enemy. You're done playing basketball, bro. Nice to die. The chest here and an enemy here. You just got a hit on me. I know you get hit on me, but you got a major hit on me. Oh, I think I dodged at the right moment, but it did not work as planned. Yeah, tiny piece of coal. Another junction. Not dead lotus, I mean. We need dead lotus seed as well. No, no, dead lotus seed is easy. Golden Lotus Seed is actually the pain. Mm. 
Here we have that snow hill path. And there's a shrine right there, so let's go. Let's rest up. Hey, what is this? Gentian. Gentian. Rest up, check the store. What can we buy? What's new? All right, folks, continuing on from the shrine. Now we are going to fight some monkeys and let me get into fight. But there is a ginseng enemy here, yeah. Always go for the ginseng enemies. Oh, wait, come on. Yeah, this guy is gonna come out, try to grab me, and I'm going to be killed. Another aged ginseng which is useful, useless for me, but keep collecting all the ginsengs you can because we need steel ginseng. Uh, now we fight this annoying enemy. Okay, that guy is dead. Now your turn, boy. This is Gentian, I think. Yeah, Gentian. And this is an enemy. Absorb this. We get more will. Not that we need will, but yeah, God uses replenished, why not? Now this will get us into a boss fight. Okay, let's get to the boss fight. Or nothing here, nothing here to look after or find or whatever. Oh, gets me with that attack, huh? Oh, you're not gonna go down like this, are you? Already, he got scared from my attack and ran away. <laughs> that is funny. Funny, bunny. Okay, moving on. There are some spirits here we can get, so let's go get those for you. Like, we already have all these spirits and everything in our initial walkthrough, run, but as I said, in my new game plus walkthrough, I am going to try and get everything for you. One more time. There is a chest there. Can you jump from? Oh, we can jump through there. Will and refined iron sand. Not very useful, but hey. Uh, you have to get everything, don't we? Okay, leveled up. New type of enemy. I don't think he drops the spirit though. Hey. Broke my combo, man. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm getting pissed. Let's hit this big guy. This flying idiot. Come here, you flying idiot. No, seriously, come here, you flying idiot. Okay, there's a will absorb point here. I thought these like shines or mini shines, whatever they are, they will be useful for something. But all the way through the game, I did not find any use for them. Like, thought they might activate or do something later on in the game, but nothing happens of that sort. So we're moving on. Think we are going to find some. Almost hurt me, people. Okay, now I'm getting angry. And you do not want me to be angry, bro. This one does not do anything. This is off some more will. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. Oh yeah, there's a spirit over there and this is the main story path we have to take anyway. So before we do that, come over here. Kill this guy. That guy is going to drop his spirit for us. We already have his spirit, but yeah, as I told you, all the spirits and everything are just from you. You know what, let's just get my minions out. Get on to the big guy people. Oh, and blood of the iron bull. Someone's left. Why is he left? Okay, this is... Another enemy. And more H inside. Unlucky us. Minions are gonna vanish. Cannot jump up there, nothing there. So hey, this spirit, grab it. Use your god flash first to replenish it completely. And you can get this. This might give me some mind cores because I already have the spirit. Yeah, convert spirit to will. Did not give anything mind core type or anything. Yeah, there is a chest over here. One open it. Okay, tiny pieces of gold, small piece of gold, whatever. Moving on, go back and drop down there's an enemy I can hear I think he's all the way down here let's go kick the said enemies but as well do not go to that courtyard straight ahead because if you do it will trigger a story scene and you will be locked into the next area here I think this is some ginseng, let me just see. Yeah, firebell flower. Well, you need firebell flower seeds as well, so. Maybe come here and get that. This I think was all that was over there. I have scoured that area, there is nothing very useful in here apparently. Okay, this is dead. Plunging ingredient. Okay, we got more will. Got cold iron leaves. Okay, if you come down here, there's actually a curio you can get. I don't know if it drops from farming these enemies, I mean, like killing all these enemies over here, or if it is something else. What you have to do is, I think you have to come here, walk all the way here. And go on the left through here. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or even if this is the right location, but uh, I think this is what it is. So yeah, you come all the way here. Oh no, 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 no. You have to go from the courtyard up there. 
Ah, but if you go to the court, it will trigger a cutscene. Okay, this sucks. Okay, so let me just tell you where to go then. I'm just gonna take one more lap around to make sure I'm going in the right direction. If I'm going in the wrong direction, I will know. Oh yeah, so you get to this quarter and you see that walkway going all the way to the left. There are some enemies there and a curio there. I might have to travel back there to show you, but you guys should just know. You see, because this will lock you into the cutscene and take you back to the pagoda realm. Faith and devotion, quite the notion. Yet how many can claim a mind? Hmm, skip this. Now you're forced to fly, you see. I want you what you want to do is fly over there. You see that area? There's some well and some stuff you can see there. That's where you're supposed to go, but you cannot go there right now. This is pretty much like premeditated part that you'll take. Don't need to use your controllers or anything. Just watch your bat follow that eagle or bird, whatever it is. And that's it. And we are at this mirror lake. Now there are some collectibles here as well, but first let's rest up. Now before moving on, should I show it to you where we need to be going? Okay, let me just show it to you, no? What I said you were missing. Let's go to first track path. I'll just run to that location where you need to be. Okay, at frost clad path, this time I am simply going to run to the location where I said uh, that collectible will be and I'm just gonna teleport out after that. I'm not going to waste a lot of time and energy in killing these people and whatnot. Oh, you did not die. Now you die, bro. And you also die, why not? These guys are dealt with, easily dealt with, like enemies are not a problem for us at this point. Was a time and simple enemies could give me trouble but not right now. Anyways, you come here and you go through here, like this is the path we have to take. So you might miss something here, you might end up missing stuff over here. If you kill all these enemies over here, I think they get you a curio or there is a chest here maybe, I am not sure. Sure, but I did get a curio here and I think it was for killing all these guys. Maybe these are normal drops from other enemies somewhere and because I already have the curio I am not getting it. But this is where I got it and there is a will absorb pointed. So you might want to come back here, you might not want to come back here, it's totally up to you. 
just okay back at my rear mirror there are some enemies here on the right i don't think there is anything useful apart from a couple of like seeds and stuff like resources you do get a tree pearl or something type of resource here and something if you go straight it will trigger a boss fight and then you will have to teleport out of this area also one more thing let me show you like i don't know if you guys will be able to get it here because if you if the second we get onto the lake it triggers the boss fight and then we are teleported to a different area but right here on this end you have to run to the entire end of the lake and go right like in this direction like run around it and go right so there you will find a curio i think it's a curio or maybe it is a drinks and so that but you need all of that so i will show it to you but i'm just telling you that there is something there and you cannot get it in the first run because as i said you go to the lake it will trigger a boss fight and then you will be transferred like teleported to a different area so you have to come back here for this particular collectible like make sure you do that an enemy and that is the flying enemy i am not in the enemy mode to fight him so we got that stuff from the right i told you is nothing useful but some celestial pr and all that stuff you come over here there are some enemies guarding a big chest and right here meditation spot i say let's meditate first this is a good meditation spot I like everything they show here. The scene is good, I think. Very beautiful and all. Told you, pretty pretty. Okay, come over here. There's just one chest over here, and nothing else. Like a bunch of enemies fighting a chest. Maybe I should not be bothering about these enemies. I should definitely not be bothering about this. Lot of them will get up and try to fight. Okay, everybody's down. And we got new mind floor and one more of the heroes woke up. Tried to hit me, but he missed. You're such an idiot. Okay, now for this ice loom or whatever this boss fight. I used my infinite pain glitch on him last time. This time we're gonna kill him legit. This is the thing is to try and run all the way to the right. Can you run all the way to the right? I think it would trigger the boss. Let me see if I can. Oh, yep. Always triggers the boss. Right, as I told you. Mm, skip this. Kind of long. Alright, so I'm Jing Loom, very annoying guy, flies around a lot, which is why it is a pain to kill him. Let me wreck him this time. I got a little bit overconfident him. Oh, crab attack! This is my problem, I keep getting overconfident with this guy. Because I got him so easily in the first 
Well, he also, also because I I don't know what it is that I got him in the first. This guy is super annoying man. This super annoying. Did I hit him? I'm pretty sure I did not hit him. Took over all my Calm down bro Tired of him moving around all the time, yeah. Line or
Annoying as all. Well, something. There you go. Hate flying enemies. I hate flying enemies. And we are going down to the power level. Okay, we are at the Pagoda Ren. We get a lot of stuff. Now there is one curio, the final curio that we have to get here. And that is to kill all the lanterns. So make sure we kill all the lanterns people. You stop annoying the crap out of me, will you? No, stop flying around, stop annoying me, please. Snake head mushroom, drop this. Oh yeah, there come all lantern enemies. We need to kill all these guys. We need to kill 10 of these. Down. Okay, where did he go? Did he just vanish? Okay, one dead. Two dead. Oh, this is good. All right. So two of them are dead now. Good. There is nothing in this place except this flying idiot. Now you can make this, sh whatever this stuff is happening, uh, this debuff go away. But for that, you need to kill Captain Vice Voice. Yeah. And we have to kill these lantern enemies before we kill Captain Vice Watch or it will be some problem. I say we go and get our final curio before... Oh, affected by the voice again. Now see, the lantern enemies will not respawn. Uh, but all the other enemies will. And you can roam around here, there are some treasures and some stuff you can get. I am just gonna make beeline to Captain Lotus Vision so that this area is completely unlocked for me. Like right now, it's no point exploring this area right now. As you can see, you can go through here, you can go through there and whatnot. Just keep going straight, I believe. Oh, come on, cartoon character. Die, man. Yeah, as I said, there are 10 of these guys you need to kill. Mm, 
Okay, we got that amount of fill. Where are the rest two people, man? I need to kill all of these guys, don't I? to be to here but the effect is not happening so that will not trigger the lantern and that can be some problem for me I do not know why the effect is not triggering to be honest the effect takes a while to trigger maybe There is some drinks and soap related stuff here, I believe. Maybe, oh, come on. Maybe it is. Yeah, now it is happening. In fact, it's coming on the fine china tea bowl. Okay. Okay, here comes the effect. And see, there are those bullets. I told you there are two here. Oh crap, crab attack. Oh crap, I fell. This sucks. Okay, I am getting real annoyed by these lantern enemies because for some reason they are always just grabbing me and throwing me down. So let my minions take care of them. Go minions! Are they fight them minions? Okay, that is one more down. And oh shit, the effect is worn off. So the trick is that now we will have to wait here. Till the effect comes back on again and we can kill this, uh, kill that guy, the one that we, that ran away. Okay, everyone is annoying me for some reason. What happened? Actually? Everyone got stronger in the powder realm or what? We came here and picked this up, but then I died uh, by falling down to that idiot. So, this is going to be a little bit tough. Oh, wait, let me kill this guy. There you go, I got a lot of snakehead mushrooms. Just gonna go up and kill that guy. Let me see, I mean, if I go and kill him, I think we are pretty close to the, what do you call it? Next sign, right? I think this is right next to the next sign, maybe? Yeah, snakehead mushrooms, we need a lot of snakehead mushrooms. I don't think there's a point going in that direction right now. Yeah, there's a log. We'll be met with a log door there. So, till we kill Captain Lotus Vision, let's just keep going in this direction. A 
Call him down from here will lead us to another locked door, I'm pretty sure. We will go in uh, here. Oh, there's a chest here. Like this. Just wasting some time till the next, you know, effect comes along. We mind code. We mind code. Nope, not mind code. Where do I go now? Do you think go in this direction? Okay, the effect is coming back, thank god. You can go kill the other guy now. Where is the door now? Oh yeah, I came through here. Sorry, forgot. Oh, don't die! Oh, dude, don't die. Thank God. And this guy, don't throw me down again, people. Ah, killed him. So that's four dead. I think there are a total of 9 or 10 of these guys But we got 4 killed That was 5 minutes of time wasting you guys had to deal with I might end up editing that section and just show you his death Because there is nothing else useful that I have done Except maybe open a chest Which again not so useful Let's go in this direction now because that direction did not lead me anywhere Anyone see any of these enemies? Effect is wearing off. Effect is not open. Okay, effect is on off. Oh yeah, this door is locked as I said. Still we kill Captain Lotus Vision, there is no point exploring this area before like. Yeah, this is where we fall down from somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Just run slowly and smoothly. Before he attacks, we will be able to dodge him. That's it. So I keep falling so many times to the thing that I am freaking annoyed of it. Okay, now that that is dealt with, replenish my guards here. Someone saw me, someone is maybe trying to hit me, whatever. I move on. I have no intentions of. going again and dealing with these guys one more time. Mind core finally. Where do I go from here? Uh, can I jump up there? No. I don't know what just keep going. Oh, yeah, this is the way up. I think we can go over here and get some stuff. Maybe take this up. This is snake head mushroom, always comes in handy. One more level up, we are at 145 now. Any enemies here? No enemies here, right?
it was we got our will and nothing else so you can choose to come here or not come here i'm just showing you everything that there is to get now we can actually go and kill captain lotus vision and that will lead to us getting some more enemies like killing some more enemies and we which need to be killed Do not fall down from here because that will really trigger a boss fight. Now I say let's kill the lantern enemies here first. Yeah, there is one lantern enemy over here. Let's quickly kill him. Okay, he's gone too. Is there anyone down below or what? No one down below. So now rest up and kill Captain Lotus again.
and he's gone. <sighs> Annoying Captain Lotus Vision. I think we can take his spirit. And we got another cross prop quick. Uh, the spirit of Captain Lotus Vision, which is a key item. Needed. Now all these doors with locks have been opened but wait wait how do I oh yeah I get out through here do we see any lantern head oh don't see any lantern head I am trying to go back to my shrine see if there are any lantern heads and I can finish but now there is some stuff here we can do. This is going to be the most annoying part of the but it's this total entire run I believe. But this is the only thing that is going to give us trouble. Annoyed by these creatures when she does I cannot even tell you how annoyed I am. So, as I said, you come over here. I think there was a locked door here, right? Okay, how am I supposed to kill this guy and open the chest? You know what? You guys know the way to the chest, you can figure it out. I did end up killing this guy later on somehow. But right now I don't know how to do it. Let me see. Don't think I can hit him with this arrows, right? No, nope. I can just deflect his arrows. Yep, can only deflect his arrows unfortunately. And moving on. I think I can freeze him and then open the chest. Nope, in combat cannot open the chest. Unfortunately. I thought there was a gate or something that opened over here but apparently it does not. I've been there, done that. Here we go up from here.
Okay, now we can actually go back to the start of the pagoda realm and check something and like get some stuff that we have not gotten yet. So go back first and foremost and open this gate. This will give you a transformation and also you can talk to this guy. This guy will give you one of the legendary weapons once oh no not this guy this is just one moment This is a chest we got. This will be the transformation. Um, not this door. It is a door, I suppose, but on this one. This one. Oh, it is some friendly dirt. So, okay, now that we have got the friendly dirt, yeah, see, this is your transformation. You can pick this up. This happens when you talk to that two-headed guy in... What do you say? I the mouse. The day when I chose to depart. In chapter two. Now you can talk to him. Slain one of my captains and help four loyal captains. Can you free them from that pain? Yeah, you have to kill all four Those of them. This is my trait, and I was foolish enough. Four mighty captains. I got rid of my eye. A misstep of yours. He might be. With that relic, with that relic. Well, she talk to him. He's talked out. Now you can go and continue the four captains quest. As I said, now if you move through this area, you can actually pick up stuff like you know all the locked gates and everything you were finding, like with the purple seal over them. We can open all of them now. If you want, we can do one more run through this area. Although this is going to be a painful, annoying run, but hey, let's do it. Nothing over here. Go through there and that we can be open. So there it on the left that can be open now. Oh yeah, the seal is gone so now you can enter now. This is another area which was not accessible earlier. Oh 
open this up. And we got refined iron sand, heal up. Now oh, we can go up ahead. And there's one more collectible I'm going to show you. Before we move on to the final Kuro and the trophy for this chapter that has been eluding us so far. From here you go left. Go left, left, left. With this has already been opened so you keep going you keep going you keep going and you fall down here yes, you fall down here and you take some damage to, to fall here okay and you come over here and you can open this up and this will give us Another red. Who oh, say you did a shooting at me? This chest. This chest used to hold something good during the first run, I believe. Maybe a god or something, but now it must be a normal chest. Yep, mind core and refined iron set. Now we can travel back to all the way to the shrine. I believe where we're supposed to be. I see this. This will put me back down in the area below me. And you can come back up again. I'm just gonna run through this really quickly. Maybe if I get to the shrine, no, no, I'm just not up. Don't suppose I can get to the shrine through here. Not here. Oh yeah, I can get to the shrine. And let me rest up for a bit before I do anything else. Okay, now just moving on here to clear this area up quickly as possible. Oh yeah, this guy is so annoying man. The only problem is to get them in my crosshairs. Once I have them I can kick their butt, but till then these guys keep annoying the crap. Even crap out of me. There's a door here that, oh, that is already been opened. Or is it over there? Alright, let me just check real quick. Hmm, this has been opened as well. This is cut off. Oh, 
Finally, I got this idiot. And there is a spirit here. Time to die, bro. Okay, we got more plots of the iron ball, and I love this spirit. It will get converted to will. And now we can move on with the main part. Stop drifting, please. Always walk very carefully and methodically on this. Okay, now that this area is done, we have picked up everything worth picking up over here, people. We can move on to the next spot. Okay, this is it is back again. Okay, this chapter is trying to getting to annoy me now. Look, really, really annoying. Okay, anyways, we go back up. No intention of fighting these people. Believe I have fought all these lantern enemies so far. I think this increases my damage while while I'm getting hit by the shooter. Okay, so let's stop and we move on ahead. We can open this gate now. There's another enemy up there. Back. Open this chest up. Yeah. Don't know if there are a total of eight or six or ten, whatever these lantern enemies. But don't worry, we'll find all of them before we kill Captain Vice or whatever. All right, folks. Now this area, this is particularly tricky. Because you see there's one enemy over there and right above him is that guy hanging. And they will almost always make you fall down. You're not gonna die, but it's going to be a pain in the butt. So I think it's better to just do cloud step here and just run past this guy. You know, they stop being any trouble when you just run past them. And you come over here and start killing this. Easy, easy. Okay, so that can this. Stop annoying me guys. Thank you. I 
Are you done? Thank you. I think there's another spirit I can unlock on that mushroom you so let me just get this book. Yeah, this is actually one of the most annoying parts of the game. This mushroom, this is a spirit. Go to gather him. Big guy is gonna come out. And it's going to be all poison. And you're just gonna smash on his head. Get away from the poison. And he get poison me, unfortunately. And now he's dead. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for my poison to wear off. Because by the time the poison wear off, maybe the... What is this? The status debuff of this area will also start with a there is a lantern here that I want to get. And one poison wear off. And I am heavily present in that. Okay, the effect is coming on for to take my card. And now return my Pokemon. Return it to spirit. Okay, then what spirits to win? There's a lantern right past this point over there and then there's another behind it. I'm just gonna run for the lanterns right now. Oh, yes. crap tastic. That's too bad. One more over there. There's another lantern behind these guys over there. Then I run to him before the status builds off. Hoping I can. Really hoping I can. Ah oh, crap, that's worked again. Ah, oh, lantern weird off. Anyway, let's explore this area then. What's in here? Any enemy in here? Oh, enemy. Awesome. My gold releases did get replenished for that. Okay. Another this will absorb over here. Let's just heal up completely. Oh, that's it. I get here. Wants to die by my hand. You should die by my hand. That is awesome. Okay, now let's explore the entire area before we have to come back here. Another absorb point. Oh, nothing else, nothing else. This snakehead mushroom. Snakehead mushroom is really important. They do not get a seed for them, so that is something annoying. Okay, so you have to go up for story beats. I think that's true. I have already explored this bit, right? Yeah, yeah, I have already explored this bit, sorry. Then head on there. Let's explore the end of the rope over there. I, I know, this is a little bit backtracking and a little bit annoying part for the stream you're watching, but this part, this particular Pagoda realm of chapter 3 and also some other part. Like chapter 3 overall is 
very annoying to make guide of like to make a quick guide of to rush through things completely and have a proper guide out for everything you guys might think. Let it come back and I'll get another lantern to kill over there. There is my room. Oh, don't grab me! Even if it grabs me, it's not going to throw me out. I am pretty sure. Just stop it, will you? Stop it, stop it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah, we got him. That was the last lantern in this area. Two more lanterns left now from what I believe. We just have to continue going up this lantern. I believe will be our final video of this. We have gotten all the other curios so far. Also remember we still need steel, ginseng and one more thing for our cord and drink trophy. We'll get that too, don't you worry. Do not you worry at all party people. There is enemies there. Okay, that is the story part. Cut it out, will you? Thank you. For cutting it out. There you go, another little dead. I got refined iron stand and tiny bits of coal. That we don't actually need for that, but to have. Now another ledge area. This is going to be annoying, so be careful. This area, another tricky thing to get to. I mean, I don't think it will be that tricky because it's lifted. But uh, don't fall down, don't fall down. Just do not, do not fall down. That is all I have. Okay. But now just carefully, 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 very, 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 very carefully. Down. Do not fall down. Let me get to the shrine before I do anything else. 
come to the shrine and rest up and this is the safe spot we have been looking for people. The safe, safe, safe spot. Anyway, we rest here. Now as you guys remember last time we went inside and did the boss fight. Don't do the boss fight right now because if you do the boss fight that status effect that's been happening all around that will stop happening and we still need that effect but for our trophy and for the QG we missed last time. You see all these lantern heads you've been killing there are two more actually down here. If you're right now about to kill me. You get here, someone would fly down. Now this guy does a lot, a lot, a lot of crossing. He cross them, it does just cross them. I think I can freeze. If you can freeze me, I can also burn. There you go. Now try to burn your boy. Rolling helps reduce the fast build up. Just roll around. Still is a bad it is a bad fast build up. Mother bad player on manifest or whatever you want to call it. Okay, fall down here. I think you can go for the jump if you want, but oh hey, we got this by the attack right here. Okay. So two lanterns head here. Give me both of them before you do anything else. Oh, there's just one. Oh, fine. I'm gonna make a beeline for that guy. Okay, that guy gave me a mind for it. Is he a spirit? No, he's not a spirit. I am not concerned about him actually. That guy is a spirit guy. Fish, he just vanished. What the crap just happened, man? Will you, will you cut it out? Okay, this is a third guy. Oh, got him. Where? We can take this spirit and also break this container for another awakened wine bomb. Now, since you're not quick enough to get to the lantern head, even though I made a beeline for him, that was very weird actually. I'm gonna open other stuff and see what else is there. That's an enemy, right? this up. See something useful. Cold iron leaves. Don't see the use of cold iron leaves anymore. To be honest with you people. We'll absorb. I'm gonna save this for when I come back here I believe. Everybody keeps hitting you and that I like what I have man. What do you have to do? Okay, so now that this is dead, take up this chest. There's a god or something here as well. Like one of these chests has a god. I am pretty sure about that. This guy for sure. One of these just has a card or something else is good. So this is this area. This area has nothing and then it's the end of the area. Oh, end of the road. Yes, that is it. Everything that is here. Hmm. 
Maybe one of those chests was the one with the cord, I do not know. I'm not really sure. My lantern had it back. Don't do any crazy pursuit this time, lantern had. I'm just coming for you, buddy. Only coming for you, buddy. into the okay. ready just vanish on me again where are you lantern head come on and there you go auspicious lantern and a curious collection trophy oh how really hard for that one but now we can kill Captain Vice Voice, we can kill Captain Anti Vice Voice, we can kill anyone and everyone we want. Without having to worry about anything. So, fall down to your death or use your talisman or whatever to float your boat before. Because we are done with the pagoda of freaking red. Okay, back at the money wheel. Let me rest up. Okay, now that we are done with that, move on to the boss fight. This guy is very, very, very annoying boss. He for some reason only works when you hit him on his head. I think this the left hand side of the Fall on your head, fall on your head, bro. There you go, major damage done. Oh, crap attack. Crap attack.
another grab attack thrust us. Okay, so now that Captain Y's voice is dead, that means the epic spirit over here. I don't know, he does work. He's all the way up first. Now the point is that you see the detrimental status is going on all over the pagoda and where you were uh, kept getting your head half and the front ends kept up and the screen got done started turning to black and white and stuff that will no longer happen so that is why you needed to kill those lanterns before you got to this point otherwise it would never have worked for you i am not sure there's anything on the left there's some very that are here and there may be something on the left let me just quickly run and check because even if you fall down and die from here you're just gonna come back from oh there's a chest here Maybe something useful in this chest. Like, okay, if this is the first time around, you might find something useful in this chest. So if this is your final time around, second time around, you will just find some well and cold iron at least like I did. Go ahead, activate this, this, what they call this, this shrine, and then move on. This next part is a little bit linear. Like fairly linear, nothing too wild to get over here. A couple of magician spots here and there and some other stuff. Nothing to write home about to be honest. There is a Luisa fragrant wine right here. And you come in here, in here. And on the left over there, you see that? I'm gonna pick this up first. The jet loader. And this is a Luigi first one. You told you, I'm gonna get you all the collectibles in one run. In this particular time. And because I'm overpowered, I am not the one punch monkey that I was in Edmonton. But I am still the hard punchy monkey that I want to be. Now I think we're going to come up to a very, very well hidden meditation spot. I think it's here only. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's there. We keep picking up everything you see, all these trees and everything. Because if you might be needing some seeds, or you might be needing some of the drinks and soap stuff like this one, we come market. Any random one of them could be a drink or a soap that you need for you know your drinks and soap stuff. So this one is something that improves your build or something and right behind this break this go over here go in here you want to find a spirit enemy as well over here this guy does a ton of frost damage i don't think it's a spirit enemy but he's an annoying enemy for sure as i said very annoying and I hate him with everything you have. Always hit this guy with everything you have. I hate this guy by the way. If it was not already clear. And meditate over. This is a meditation spot too. Is it two? Right. Yeah, I think there's one more left. Wanna skip this part? There you go, people. Meditation spot done. We are level 150, huh? Interesting. Keep moving on, keep moving on. 
This is like I was must say that playing Black Mat Kukong even the second time around. I am enjoying this game. I think I've had much of fun with this game. And like with the story bit and everything like the how they presented everything and stuff. I don't think I would mind playing this game one more one more time. Just to get Wukong to his final might level or whatever it is. Having fun with this. Don't know if you're supposed to go up or not. I think you should go up. All this messed stuff. This is the stupid thing I do. Like always take the wrong exploration type. Oh no, I don't think it's Everybody die now? Oh yeah, this is just a uh, creeper. I don't see the use of creeper yet and maybe it's used for some medicine or concoction. Maybe I'm already using it and don't know about it. It is a very genuine possibility. Uh, this guy is annoying guy. Super annoying this guy. Super annoying. Telling you, there is one enemy I hate, it's this guy. Very aggressive and all this, almost all this is in the first place. And I have not explored that much to be honest. Are we about to face non white? I'm not sure. I don't think we're about to face non white over here. As we go on the right, we will go to the Buddha temple or the Buddha realm fairy place. I'm just gonna run there and activate the shrine. That is where you go for the secret ending people. When you have killed all the secret bosses and done all the side quests and stuff. Apart from that particular thing, there is nothing much here to pick up. Like see this creeper area there. Might be some village block points here or there. But nothing to write home about and nothing we should actually be worried about. A lot of invisible walls. So I would say just go in a straight direction, make a beeline for the end point. And if anyone wakes up, kill them. And if they don't, they don't kill. I don't think you have to be worried about any particular enemy or anything here. Don't think there's a meditation spot here. Don't think there are any pills or anything to be picked up here. Might be one chest or two, but I don't think it has and it bears any significance. It might so later on. Like it might be something. So as I said, if in case I miss anything, when I get to chapter six, I'll just do a quick run through of anything at all that we did not pick up. I know I am rushing through this and still showing you everything uh, and how to do it all and get everything and whatnot. Like this area as you see, whenever you get here it looks like a boss fight arena. No boss fight or anything happens there. And this actually looks like a... What do you say? Cut content from the game. Like they were supposed to be a boss fight here but then they decided not to do it. And you can just use this to go. As 
मेरे को टूटा टेम्पल है और बहुत ओवर है दिस इज अ वेरी एरिया बट दिस नथिंग टू बी सो सो दिस कम है रिक्वेस्ट दिस टाइम दिस इज द क्रेट पगोड़ा एंड ट्रेवल बैक टू नोवेल ट्रेन आई बिलीव आई थिंक नोवेल ट्रेन इट इज इट्स नोवेल ट्रेन एक्चुअली वेयर द आर्टिस्ट इज अ वेरी अनमाइंड Part of the seven of life. There's a big trail with a lot of paths going here and there, and not nothing actually. It will be useful here, but you know you tend to go wrong. So you can just go up on the right and go do the story bit. And on the left here, I don't think there's anything actually useful. Might be a chest there or there. I have the intention of just going and doing the story thing. And then checking back here in case there is something I might miss. That is my intention here actually. Uh, now I'm gonna tell you about one or two more enemies that you should kill once while you are here. Go over here. This will just lead to another invisible wall. I believe. I see nothing here. Just this enemy is not not trying to get away by my hand. Oh, there's a chest there. I see. So there is something here. One thing useful in this area. All these enemies will kill a lot of them. So if anything is needed, take farm or grind it for them. I think you guys maybe already have it or will have it. By the time the game is done, do not worry about those things. As I said, will absorb and small simple things. I have a lot of will, so I don't actually need to absorb anything. Now I don't need to kill this guy because he just tried to hit me, and he actually succeeded. It's annoying and fascinating at the same time. Or from there might be some trees or some seeds or you know, pick up as I said, pick up all the plants you see ever. And now this, as I said, this enemy is the one which is supposed to drop a seed, like the golden lotus seed or something. You don't. Oh, that is an enemy that drops a spirit maybe. Yeah, like this guy does not work. This is a very big grind for the golden lotus seed. I had to grind for very, 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 very long time for that particular seed to drop. But I got it. That is the good part. The key enough to get it. Uh, so this is one person who can. Oh, this fantastic! This is indeed it. I have no patience for this guy. Uh, as long as he stands up, I'll take it. I think I am going. I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I'm supposed to pull up. I get carried away. As I said before, chapter six going to be an annoying. Like I am annoyed to win this. But, uh, see this guy. One as well. Wait, I throw you that? Where did it come back from? Die, bro. I think there might be a spirit there that I just missed, and I might end up having to go back there. Let's see. People are waking up. They might try to attack. You can jump over this area, but it's faster to run up. Because how? 
then you keep jumping and all the uh, someone just try to attack or did someone just try to jump around or something I can hear someone oh, no one is attacking me so what the hell oh it's just me inside okay let's go Uh, this is where you go and talk to the old man. Well, well, harsh winds and an old friend. I couldn't be happy. Who would you fight them? But again, and we can take it. Need injury, weariness, or frostbite. Beast or Yagwai, none shall dare to draw nigh. And this is your old man attention for this chapter. As I told you, old man you have to meet in all the five chapters. Or the always a campaign trophy and then that horse and this is the horse and this we will meet, don't worry. Let's to go and meet him. Before I move on ahead, I just think I'm gonna go back and rest up. But I did not rest up at the last time I was at the time. Just another round and rest. So any enemy past this point will be a new enemy, so just rest. This is the story part for sure. Um. Okay, this is the eagle enemy spirit.
There we go again. And convert the shoot. See, I told you that I think there's a spirit over here. I think the spirit is actually all that is over there. But from some enemies and. Apart from some enemies and maybe a chest. But is this going to lead me to the mountain? Oh, I'm so freaking confused. This is taking... Oh, this is taking me to some other place. Not taking me, this is taking me to a loser president of mine now. Yeah, another enemy and this is a pill. Not a chest. Stop annoying me with you bro. I hit it with this idiot. I hit it with this idiot. Anyway, open this. This is a big chest. Definitely something useful in here. Oh, yeah, not of witness. I got a mirage kit, but I think in the first turn you will get something more useful out of this one. And this is a loser fragrant wine, I believe. No, no, this is a celestial beer. And I think this is how you circle back to where we were. So good enough, we got another spirit for you folks. You can try and kill those fake or try something with anything useful. In case there is something useful, I'll run back there in my cleanup timing. God damn, I just hope this entire chapter 3 runtime is under one and a half hours. Chapter 4. Pretty much straightforward. Chapter 5 was very straightforward and chapter 6 is totally completely 100% straightforward. Oh yeah, now we're back at where we started. Let us just start. This is where a shine was and this is where. So, just gonna move on ahead. Some enemies here for me to kill. I'm gonna kick the parts and then. There is some boss fights I have to do. The horse NPC is as I said, we have not encountered for this chapter yet. We will encounter him, don't worry, bro. Now oh, here, this is a straightforward area, nothing to it. Nothing to pick up, nothing to look around, just keep running. Enjoy the scenery if you want. Now that we are about to have another dragon fight, which as all dragon fights are, will be a bit annoying. And then we are going to have a good, very pretty decent turtle cut scene which I am going to skip, but want to see it, you can check my entire... Wait, we get Zubajay here, right? Meet Zubaj over here, but what is the song? Am I going to be forced to watch this entire cutscene or what? So I cannot skip it for some reason. I have to watch it unfortunately. This is the turtle. Darling, come on! It's perfectly cool in here. Join me in tight. I've been done back in the real. Such humor, Admiral. Let go of your stubbornness and I could request Master to set you free. Then I'd be open to joining you. Oh, I don't deserve you. That old bastard really made for you to do Kong's relic. Even you left your courtier bend to his will. Yet my ears tell me that the destined one has got the money wheel. Pity. Reckon it won't be your master who unlocks these metals eventually. 
These gold symbols are made by our grand master. And you think a puny monkey can go beyond that? Familiar enough for me to sound by welcome. Master Valley, about of it, can you kept you alive beneath the pagoda for your own good? How ungrateful! Evidently, you just don't deserve the ecstasy of the new west. Hey, don't kill me, don't kill me. Finally. Whatever. Let's not dally. Now, now we have a uh, minion. Okay, not this area. That yellow brow is not like it, folks. That old monkey from Mount Quagro asked me to back you up here to see his ugly tricks. He told me that once we gather all six relics, we can bring Wukong back. Say I buy it from now. I'll go and catch up with him first. You take a crowd. Yeah, I can finally take a look around. Alright, then. So this is it. The Charlie Canyon Star is there. Come back here for a shrine. Pretty sure there's... Uh, there's not a trophy for getting all the shrines. But good to have. And also I need to rest up finally. Now this area, actually a big area, and there are some collectibles there. When you do it for what did that is that say unloom. Another loom boss for us to fight. So let's just go and fight him real quick. If you have the loom scale, the statue will become a dragon and you can just fight him. That's it. And you already have the loom scales as I've gotten them for you.
Slow of it, you hear? Controller, please, and we got another loom. Alright, I'm converted into will of this thing, like here, studio, or something. Else. Okay, so now this area, as I said, big area. Get up here, they rush stuff to get here. Let's start from the start, why don't, why don't we? Come over here. This is where you would have normally started. There is a pill here, there might be a couple of chests there. And I'm going to show you how to get the golden lotus seed or whatever it is that you need. Which is dropped by these minions. Let me just show you. Come over here. Come over here and you see that there is almost nothing here. Right? Got some will absorb down there, all the way down there with some enemies protecting it. I don't know why they are protecting it, because they want to die or what. But they are protecting it. That is the important part. Mm, because they are protecting it, they die. Come over here and over here. And over here is there something? No. Bell flowers and stuff. I still keep running, there's no need to go down yet. Okay. Something should yeah see this is the first one actually. Kill this one. This one good. Right behind it, another one. Kill this minion first. Mind it here. Something of note here, I don't think so. Alright, let me just quickly test. When you get here, I want to die by my hand. Okay, very five forty. Okay, so there's a two. That was 
two of these lotus enemies. As I told you, we'll give you the golden lotus shield. That is a very tough thing to get actually. A lot of guides out there for this particular shield. I'm just trying to show you everything here. So seriously. Go all the way to the top. You see, uh, another one of this golden lotus guy. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, is it now my turn to be I will not get the drop of the golden lotus seed because I already have it, so another Jensen guy. And we get another aid since then unfortunately nothing useful out of this. So there were four of these. Now you come over here, yeah, see, this is a chest here. And I think if you go down the center, actually nothing much useful if you go down the center is what I'm trying to say. Come over here, you turn around over here, there is the head that will trigger a cutscene. Not in the mood to trigger the cutscene right away. Come over here and go to the left. Here and yeah, see this. This is uh, something together. I don't know what the name is. There is also a pill here. Let me um, just trying to see where the pill is. Here are some enemies. Pill is. Oh, yeah, there is a behind this wall. There is another one of the lotus enemies. Five of these total dropping guys. Couple more, and you're pretty much full, Donna. Was I supposed to fall down here? No, I was not. So I did not. If anyone asked, I did not fall down there. Couple over here. Ah, there's the pill. Do you see this? This is another pill. Maybe for mana or stamina, I don't know. But there is a pill. Alright, I'm converting into will because I already have it. But yeah, you guys have it as well now. And with that, now you can just run straight ahead. Now I'm just check in case there is anything else to pick up but I doubt there is anything else to pick up in this area anymore. Like off secret because might be one or two villages or points I'm missing out on or something like that but nothing significant. Hmm? Like that you must have or that will be a lot out of a trophy. You will get all the trophies in this particular run pick up as well. show you everything, every single thing, how to get, where to go, what to do and all that stuff. What is over here? Something over here now. Might be a spirit to get, I believe. I'm so annoyed with these flying trees, monkey. Okay, then with the flying monkeys. And this was just a simple wheel absorb. Hit that. And uh, 
recall or something. It's that as well. It is all that was. Oh, damn it, that sucks. Oh, I'm not interested in fighting any more enemies because I fought every one of them and taken almost everything out of them that I can. Mm. Go straight for the head and this will trigger another cutscene. Now we will finally be at a new area. When chapter 3 is you, this is where it was, this is this. Bringing Wukong back yep, is what uh, matters most. Uh, now we can leave. My old friend! You must have had it rough all these Cannot years this in this shit hole! Rest easy! Once we're ashore, I'll take down that blasted temple to avenge you and Brother Snake! Okay, come over here and activate this shrine and this is what I had been waiting for for a long long time. Now first things first we are going to go and activate the scroll. Ruji scroll as you guys know. Enemies and what not over here going to ignore them completely. Go fight that dragon. So he can give us his throat. One more familiar. Yeah, I'll try to tell. They can't go by. Only 
one of Shudong's resurrection pills. Save me now. <laughs> okay, give him the resurrection pill because I think we have it. Why are you still here? <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> I think I have to go to Zudok now. For this particular. But first, let's start the treasure side quest. Uh, NPC side quest over here. This is a fine bit. Better entrusted to me. This is also something useful. Man in the hair to come. Say, why is there nothing but can I look to you to say? Brain without. Where can I find? Brain without. Where can I? Okay, he's looking for some treasure. When he's acting like he's looking for some treasure, the size and annoying. And a nuisance, but we will deal with them later. Okay, so here we have a chest which gives us something. And there is a meditation spot in the middle, I believe. Or a pill, maybe. Right? Or nothing? Maybe nothing it is, huh? Oh, also there's something I already missed. I mean, I, show, I told you all of you were to get it, but I did not actually go and get it. Well, let me just go and get it, because it helps to do a little bit of backtracking here. A pregnant wine or a wine worm or something like that over here. The enemies over here, which I can ignore and I will ignore it. Really. No intention of fighting these guys. Just running. Oh, by the way, fight the salary and whoever wants to fight. On his own time, I don't really care. Rest up and go to my zoo dog. So chapter two, cellar one. Get a resurrection bill soon, ma'am. Or if I already have, I think I can craft one. Let me see. If I can craft one. Okay, let's rest up. Cannot craft it, unfortunately. So I go to yellow and red. And the cellar. Talk to my dog, my zoo zoo dog dog. What? Self refinement is the way to make pop. Your grim face alone speaks for that old longs bullying. <laughs> Pray refrain from blaming him. His ill temper persists unaltered since the first day of our long acquaintance. 
regret that. Yeah, there you for go. his power endures. Okay, now that we have this pill that is given to us, we can travel back. But before that, let me check this note if there's something useful to buy. So we can go back over and if we want here from us. Now finally come to this guy and give him the pill. Alrighty, we are at the village. Now this, this is the part where I was actually waiting for because I knew there's a lot to be done here. Self-refinement is the way to make golden pills. Now, I don't think what I can get this thing from no here. Shame in taking the pills. I can get it along. More unfair are the Cheers! Cheers! Drink! 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 What do you think of my work? <laughs> now, don't make without our... It may be... It's rare for strange seeing our... Uh, leaving so soon. Okay, now this Yen Tiger, this is the guy that we can challenge and we can, I think, unlock more to this lot. Let's talk to him. Spare me, Prat Sinchuria. Let's see what he's selling. There is still driven away. Give me all the stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I think it's 99. Not 99, bro. Pay me like pay 50. Actually, I can craft everything like this so far. Core, three core, give me like say 20. Old iron leaves, I have a lot, 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 lot. And dot. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, let's challenge him. Keep making me angry, aren't you, and Tiger? Okay, now you make this in the so. Ok, 
So we can equip more heroes and explore them. Oh, okay. I can upgrade some armor pieces as well, but I'm not in the mood to upgrade them right now. First and foremost, let's go rest up. All right, folks. So now that we have gone ahead and unlocked the new curio slot, let's go and travel back to where we are supposed to go, which is the North Shore of Battle Lake. Good river, but Tribal General's help was necessary. All right, back here now. This uh, what is his name? Baji, Baji, Baji. Huh. Uh, this Bhaiji or Bhaje, whatever you, you want to call him, he will just keep talking now. Uh, so my talking might get interrupted by some useless dialogues in here or there. So important thing to notice, now we are going to get one more missable stuff for us. Okay, also before I say anything else, people like I have noticed that there is just one armor piece that I have left and for that I only need to do the okay, I only need to do the side mission like the secret area for level 5 but I think for the weapon I am still going to need uh, uh, to do the secret areas like all the secret missions for the other level so I am going to go ahead and do that and as I said I am going to make sure to pick up all the collectibles but if you have been following my walkthrough till now then you might already have all the collectibles needed to, you know, uh, get or have all the things that are needed to get uh, the platinum. Like, might be missing one or two ingredients here or there, but that should be it. Nothing much, nothing less, like, things like that. Now there is another, no, this is not a Luigi of Fragrant Wine, this is silly. Okay, we did the bat see me? The bat did not see me yet. Now we are taking back. Kill him before he can dance on my head. Hey, did you just swing your bat at me, you dumb clown? Okay, celestial so pier. Uh, anything else to pick up? Also, keep picking up stuff whenever and wherever you get the chance because, as I said, picking up stuff is important. Oh, nice dodge. Nice, perfect dodge, I would say. Okay, right here, you go right here, you'll find the upper mana bat. This is the snake general who is there. We're gonna find a boss here. This is the one missable boss. So make sure you find him. And we are about to face the bad guy. The only problem with this bad guy is that he flies. Does not do a lot of damage, does not have a lot of health or anything, but he flies. Got me? Got me again?
Okay, he flies, no? Now fly, boy. the guy's <laughs> okay so he fell down and now we can interact with the snake general's carcass and we will get another fury orb. this is the quest for the turtle Interact with him and the turtle will cry. I am just skipping it. I will show you what to do now. So you see a turtle has just dropped a tear. And that tear is what we need to get to. Before that do I need to go here? I think this is the way I need to. Let me explore. I am not sure if there is something here or if this is the main way. Pick up the turtle tear for you people. Do not worry about that. I just want to see what is actually in here. Uh, I just idiot. Also, these are the idiots that you actually need to farm for a particular armor piece or curio, I believe. Not sure which or what, to be honest. Oh yeah, there you find one Luigi of Heaven Throne. Oh crap. Now that he is dead, I can focus on this. Hey, stop it. Cut it out. And he's dead. And there's another Luigi of Fragrant Wine. Congratulations. Item converted into will, no problem. Keep picking up all the fruits and flowers or what not you guys keep finding because that is something. I think this is it for this place. If you go around I think you can peek onto this enclosure from the other side. But that is it. There is nothing else here pretty much. So there you can drop down on the enclosure from the other side. Let me see if there is a chest or something up there just in case. No, this is just just this of water or pick it up or it's easier to get and another eight ginseng. I have to keep picking up ginseng because steel ginseng is something I need for my drinks, wonderful drinks and not whatever trophy that is. Oh, there is a chest here. Oh, there was stuff here to do. Uh, basketball player. Honestly, what do these guys think they will be doing with a rock? Huh? They can do with the rock to me, of all people. This is a mind core, nice. We need a lot of mind core people. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of mind core. Stop this, and I think we can go in here. No, we don't have to go in. This is just some place we end up. Come and run! Get out! We cut them down! The will come out! 
Okay, this is the way. This is the main way, the main route that we need to take. We are back here. If you guys can see, on the left is the path which we took to go to that upper mana bat. But now that you've dealt with them, you see here our turtle is crying or whatever. Keep walking, keep walking. There are some enemies who might have reanimated in Zuba. They must be crying about them. So right here. Right here, right? I think it is right here. I think because I have already completed the quest, I can no longer pick up that said Furio or whatever it is. But right here under, I mean in this area or over there, like believe this turtle's eye. Right here, the turtle will drop a tear and this will be a collectible that you guys have to pick up. Just make sure you do that. I already have picked it up, so I think I cannot find it now. If I had not found it, I would have been able to pick it up again. But yeah, this is what you guys have to pick up. Just remember this. And here, this is a celestial pier. Oh, triple. Whatever. Now everybody is dead. This is the main route. Continue. By the way, this chapter 3 particularly has gone on for over one and a half hours or more than two hours, I believe, at this point. And I think this is going to go along, go on for a bit longer. Like This is actually the longest chapter. Like, even when we know everything and we know what to do. I mean, I know. This stream could have been a bit better streamlined. I could have done some stuff in a different order. Or in a better order, and stuff would have been better. There's a shine at that, and I want to explore on the left. First. I don't think there's much here, but maybe a couple of chests and some studio stuff. Open this. Oh, yeah, we'll find a new Sandha here, I believe. I think for the main weapon, we have to pretty much do everything. I don't think we can fall down here. No, it's just a test here. That is it. Make his journey one step at a time, kid. Have some patience. Oh, you shut your mouth, Baje. Hey, Baje, get out of Baje, jar hai yaar ni. Ah, you can as well this. I almost ignored this. So, shrine here. Rest up. Hope I don't have to go back anywhere. So far so good. Oh man, I swell up. Ah, oh, meditation frog. Let's meditate. How can one meditate with Zubaji by the way? That idiot is going to keep talking all the time, right? There is another pill of yours. Make sure you pick this up. Enhanced Tiger Subduing Pellet We have to come at a new cutscene as it is we are mm, All these Buddha statues and all Admire these on your own time, people. I'm moving on because I have already advised. Oh, this is a spirit rock. Well. 
अच्छा यू वन हिट मी एंड देन व्हाट व्हाट हैपन व्हेन आई हिट यू हां हां ब्रो हाउ इज दैट फील आई एम नॉट डेड आई सेड नो आई थॉट यू विल बी डेड ऑलरेडी ब्रो Hmm, spirit gun. Just thousand will. I mean, seriously. Expected more. Oh yeah, cut scene coming up. I need this. That pavilion looks like a boy kid. You look suspicious. What? Now we need to interact with Buddha statues. And I think talk to him. Why the rush to see a Buddha? We go on the right. That is the main path, but we cannot go there because we need to interact with three Buddhas. So don't go there. That will just lead to you guys having <laughs> having to backtrack to this area again. I'm just checking if there is something seed or something to pick up there, but I don't think there is anything. Ah, I get it. Yeah, this is something happens. The camera will shake or shift or something will happen. Then I hear you absorb this. Let's pray at the Buddha statue. There are total three you need to do. We done one. And we go here and we go down and kill this guy. Was he hard to suppress the pain and get up? Oh, he died while hitting me. He hit me. I hit him. What a death! Another one. Who knows if it's true or not? That little monk was speaking riddles. All right, everybody, die now. Everybody, I cannot go here. Okay, interesting. Yeah, this is the final one. Back when we journey to the new west, our master took it from the blue shark. Oh, there's just three. Oh, there are four, I think. I am on a second. What's there on the left then? Oh, not on the left. I thought the main way was on the left, and there was some collectible on the right. But apparently, left, right is the only direction we can go. So we shall keep going and going and going and going and going. And the final one, this one, I will. What's that sound? That little monster does tricks once more. Worship my hoof. Let's go back. Come back here and talk to the little Buddha. Chubby one, we've done the rites. Where's the path? <laughs> The path isn't it always there? And now your path has been unlocked. Now you can go towards the right. Keep the set of stairs. Keep picking stuff up wherever and whenever you can. Eat ginseng again. I mean, when ginseng, I'm picking up so much ginseng, but now most is ginseng, unfortunately.
Hmm. Absorb this. If you want, you can oh, skip whenever I start absorbing things like that. Double tapping your screen on the right once or twice will work because it's usually a 36 second animation and 10 seconds for me to get there and pick it up and go. So, yeah, say you can skip for like 20 seconds. But if you think like you missed something, you can just skip back 10 seconds. Well, I believe that will be more annoying. So, just don't skip it. Watch and pick them up, and you also pick them up. Because hey, in the end it's more with can't hurt, can it? It's not like more money, more problems, super. It's like money, no problem. Now I think I'm about to come up to a boss fight. Before that, let me absorb this. Yeah, one 10 second skip will do for this, I believe. This is proper claustrophobia. Now we shall have a boss fight and after that I am going to show you a secret. Gonna jump or what? One monkey, and another shows up. Acha, this is the guy with the shield, the first guy. Frozen. Oh, so slow. And he ran away. Okay, now look here. I think you you see this guy standing there. This is the Sanda monkey. See, he's always there. He's trying to do something with this Sanda, and he sees us and he vanishes all the time. So this is our another Sanda. This I think is our. Second skanda, right? Or maybe the third one. I don't think there's a skanda in chapter 2. There's one in chapter 1. This is the second one in chapter 3. Or maybe this is the... I don't know. The... Sec maybe this is the third one. There's nothing in chapter 5. So, fall down here. Is it this fall? This is the one you have to follow. If you go there, there is will you can pick up, but that is all there is. So if you want, you can go pick it up. Totally your concern. I have enough will, so I am not bothering with that. You come here, you kill this guy, you move on ahead. Uh, I think you'll find some idiot to annoy you here as well. There is a flying idiot here. See there? Up there, flying idiot. There is a flying idiot dead. And after the flying idiot is dead, oh yeah, there's nothing else here. 
just keep going, going, going and hit this guy. Once you hit this guy, you keep going, going, going. There's this particular tree that I have, uh, golden lotus seed. This is the golden lotus one, I believe. Oh, chest for your troubles. Now I know I have to go. Oh, there's an item convert. Might be a god or something because that item is converted into it. Could be good. Now see, this one kills CS again and vanish. We always vanish. Touch the stone. And you'll get scanned off thought. Uh, use up your flask. And as of this, the uh, flask is the full again. And let's continue on with the rest of the chapter. Still a lot left in this chapter, man. Chapter 3 is big. Chapter 4, I can remember being small. Chapter 5 also, I think, will be pretty small. But yeah, chapter 3, pretty damn big. Pretty goddamn big, man. Must say. Now, am I about to come to another boss? Oh, uh, forgot you. Well, flower also I think I should keep picking up maybe or maybe not there is enemy about huh? nothing oh there is a studio or a bit there end up jumping over it. Even when I'm not pressing X. Hmm. Another item converted into a will. I think this was a pill or something. If there is will absorb, this is the non-white boss fight. Oh, there is will absorb over it. I told you. There is will absorb somewhere. <coughs> I remember people. I always remember stuff. Never forget. Never, ever, ever forget that. Wait, is there a meditation spot somewhere here? No, pity, no, pity, no. Okay, non-white boss fight. Ready to die by my hand, particularly. Stop now! <laughs> hey? He broke my... Oh, I'm so done. That is it. And this guy really slowed me down and pissed me off. There you go, non white. Mr. Annoying. And I think you can get his spirit now, right? Yep, you can get his spirit. Annoying boss. Very annoying boss. 
Okay, now that spirits are converted into will, meditate. Okay, so that is one more area of this chapter 3 then now we are coming up close to the last area see this is not even the last area this is the second to last area and then there is the last area this is big see there is a bat flying around it's gonna try to fit me or whatever in the valley of ecstasy my friend we are in the valley of ecstasy and we gonna run and we're gonna rest at the shrine. Okay, now we are going to start another quest. And this I is the fox quest. I was a fox one day. A young I couldn't move. I thought I little did I foresee. I saw Mm-hmm. Keep talking. And now you're gonna transform into the fox. I beg you, sir, to take my fur and Hmm. Now we have the fox transformation. Now, before you do anything, we need the fox transformation. So here you see in your equipment. Hang on. My controller is shifting here. In anything like soul remigration bill. Instead of this, you should have this. The snow fox brush. Equip it so that you can transform into the fox anytime you get the chance. Okay. Now. Beyond this point, we will reach the Thunderclap Temple. And that is its own bit of annoyance. Before that, let's just go here and kill another frog. The frog in every chapter, as you guys may or may not know. So we're gonna come here and kill one of them. Another eight ginseng. This is a good ginseng farming spot by the way. I'll show you a very good ginseng farming spot in a bit. But first, let's kill the frog. This is a poison frog, I believe. Oh no, Fry freezing frog man. I hate freezing frog. Oh wait, I did not rest. Oh crap, that's dead. Fan out, right? Everything going on, bro. Don't make me use my super attack, man. Will I smash him still? Yep, I'll smash him still. <laughs> Frozen smash man, so cool. So, so, so cool. Okay, better go back and rest up now, I believe.
Now, as I said, there is another big huge area. There are a decent amount of collectibles and unlockables here. So I don't just want to rush through this area. Nothing particular in here apart from if you go on the right side and maybe pick up a couple of bosses here and there. Go on the left, you will find absolutely dead. Absolutely dead. Yeah. Oh, these are gonna kick these. Oh, exploding frogs again. Oh yeah, this is a spirit enemy. No, this is not a spirit enemy. This is just a dumb enemy that is going to get get his butt handed to him. And he did. This is what he wanted. This is what he got. Okay, one side of the map done. I am happy that I have done one side of the map. Now, uh, the problem is I don't actually remember all the collectibles which is why I have to run down every side of the map. If I actually remembered every single one of them, I would have told you to go here, don't go there, go there, don't go here. And that would have been it. But unfortunately that is not the case. I can tell you that don't spend too much time trying to explore here. Because I'll just do a quick run around and tell you uh, these guys are gonna come out and try to hit me or whatever. Does not matter. Honestly, seriously, does not matter. I think we can do a complete run around of this area and find nothing. There might be a boss here worth looking into. I am not sure. Hi, bro. Oh, he was looking up to... Okay, there's a sign here. That means I'm gonna come up to the boss fight that I wanted. Okay, so for the sign, before this... Okay, this is a stupid idiot. Mm, this leads to the sign, I believe. Yeah, okay, so this shrine... Oh, this guy is rolling enemies or what? Waking people up or what? Now you hear this guy saying it's freezing here. This is the guy we need to help for one particular... For a particular quest. Before, so before you do that, come over here at this time. Rest up. Rest up and in your spells... Go to set spells and equip ring of fire there people. Make sure you have... No, not rock solid. So I have to give up this one. Okay, make sure you have equipped ring of fire. It'll just be a minute, but it's good to just get this out of the way. Now this guy is... Uh, he's on a tree somewhere if he pass. Yeah. Cast ring of fire and he'll drop down into it. I'm just skipping this part. Now you've progressed this quest to the point where it should be progressed to. Okay, now it's just the boss fight that you have to do. I'll tell you that one as well. Oh, I think you have to speak to him as well. I forgot. So drop this. Now oh, talk to him. I, talk to I heard that Buddha planted watermelon one bite, yet what the this? Okay. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from he rushed but bewildered he I just talking about watermelons are like you can listen to this on your own time. Water, and don't let me keep you. I will leave by my I'll just store maybe the don't let me keep I will leave. Okay, the gist of the story, this guy is actually acting like he needs our help, but he is actually the bad guy, so... Another one of you. Nothing particularly useful here, I believe, but... As I said, could be some stuff I might be missing out on, so let me just... Um, tungu, 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 no. 
see nothing here. Is there anyone here? There's no one here to fight even. I think you guys could have skipped this. Yeah, the street pearls and all. I'm not picking up these jade lotuses and all because I know they are of no use to me. I have everything I can get from picking up these lotus stuff. Yeah, and this will bring me back to the city. Now let me show you the farming stuff for ginseng. I have heard online that it works, but some people say that the drop rate is better in chapter 2. So chapter 2 I know Crouching Tiger Temple, Temple Entrance, you can go there, there's a ginseng right there and then you can run around the Calls how that area and there are some ginseng there as well. So you can do that, you can pick those up and that will be it. Okay. I'm gonna show you one more guy who drops a particular curo and his drop rate is better if you don't use any magic on it. You see that guy standing right there? Hey, let me rest up. Sorry about that. Ah. Yeah, I got jinxed a bit, like glitched a bit. So this guy, if you hit him without, kill him without magic, then he has a good chance of dropping a curio. But use your magic on him if you wish, like I am not the guy to tell you what to do. So, you see that he dropped nothing, but as I said, he is hitting him. Also, I forgot to use immobilize. So, let me just go to self so advanced set spell, and immobilize. I have spell and I should that. Okay. I am not going to rest because I have everything charged up. I did not use anything. Now, here you can be picking up a lot of ginseng. This area full of ginseng and there's a ginseng guai boss fight here as well. So that ginseng guai definitely drops a piece of armor. Like he will for sure drop it. Drops a piece of armor and you can get his spirit as well. And something else as well. But these ginseng if you keep picking it up this is where you can have a good chance of finding steel ginseng. Just keep picking up these ginseng. Another is ginseng unfortunately. The middle one, uh, this is in Sanguai. So, this is just a This is in Sanguai. This is not the boss I was talking about. This one. This is the boss. Look at me. See, is there an awakened wine worm here? Is there? No. Yeah, there is something behind him, right? No? I think there is a. God or a brew that you can pick up. There is a particular drink that you might be able to pick up there. This is another enemy. This will not drop killing thing for me. Aha, uh -huh. give me some killing thing people. Come on. And another agent thing and this agent thing boy. Mopri out of all ginseng boy, but you guys should not hit him this hard. Okay, do not be this cruel on him. There you go, you get his spirit, and he definitely drops a piece of armor. I already have it, so did not get the drop. Hmm, and my spirits have been converted to will. I think that is pretty much this area of the forest. If I miss something, I'll just run back here. I don't want to explore this area again and again and again and again. As I said, big area, chapter 3, big chapter. 
We've been working at this chapter for hours now, man. I am getting tired of working this chapter. But rest up. Okay, let's just. I just went over to another area and I came back here to just see in case we can get some ginseng. Get the ginseng in this refresh. Hopefully the other ginsengs have also refreshed and I can maybe pick up all of them. No, still aged ginseng and still aged ginseng. Unlucky I am, unlucky I shall remain in my search for the steel ginseng. That is the last drink and soak, uh, that uh, drink or soak whatever you want to call it that I need for my Brewer's Bounty Trophy and I think I'm gonna have to keep like struggle with okay. where you see golden lotus you also get golden lotus seeds from this thing we have been here I think I should travel here to find this guy let's go this area thoroughly first Okay, okay, keep running up, keep running up, keep running up, keep running up. Another gentian. I drop will here. Okay, now this one, this is the main route. This will take you to Thunderclap Temple. Not taking this route right now because there is some stuff we need to explore over here. Do not do that idiot. That was a dick move bro. So now this is the earlier shrine where we were. Mm, now let me see. Can I go? Is there any? No, no, there is nothing over here. Go around it. Now there are some well absorbed points here. I will show you, but I will probably not go to them because there is a chance of falling down from them. And well, if you fall down, like because like, you can also fall down from here where we are fighting. And it is a tricky and tough fall and you might end up losing some health for it and also there might be some other problems as well. Another gentian. No pity, no pity, no. The will absorb over here. Also another will absorb if you go through there. No test or anything particularly. There might be a couple of spirit guys but I think I'm going to show you show them to you any which way. So do not worry about that. Like you see, if you go here, on this rock, there is a spirit. Okay, this one. You can absorb this. And there is one on the bridge, which you can absorb. It's the golden bridge. And also if you fall down, then you will get to the secret area, which we have done the treasure guys quest right now. Like here, this will take us. This will you can absorb and you can actually fall down from here. Also, this is where we could do the non able boss fight, I believe. Fight some enemies here, but I don't think there's anything worth of value here, like this guy. This is the first uh, encounter with these sorcerers. These sorcerers are no trouble at all if you can get into close room with them. But if they are far off, they can be a pain. They can be a genuine pain. Activate the shrine. Okay, now see this place. Another will absorb. Can go down. I mean, as I said, you can fall down completely. And if you fall down, I think from there you there might be a spirit at the end. I'm not sure. There is one spirit over there somewhere. And I will take you to that. Before that, let's do the non-able boss fight. 
it is actually over here. Over here there might be some stuff to pick up a chest or something. I don't think it was particularly useful but I'll just check if I have already picked it up or if I have to pick it up. Where is non able? You just wanna keep kicking us. Give me through my And this guy kicks hard. Really hard, no? Annoying me now, non level bro. I'm not gonna break his arm bro. Oh my, grab attack. No, come to me. Hmm, down. Nice job, duplicates. <laughs> and we get his spirit. Start this for it, right? Yeah, we get to start it. Ah, uh, spirit converted into will. There is a chest or something over here. There is nothing over here, I believe. Except that you can come here, maybe a seed or something to pick up. I thought Nonevel was guarding some pill or something, but he was doing nothing. He was being useless. But Nonevel is a good boss fight and his spirit is also not half bad, so... Oh yeah, these guys are guarding us. Here. Chest over here, open it. Ah, pieces of gold, gold island leaves. That's it. Now we're about to go to the secret area. This has brought us back to where we were. And these enemies. You see this back at the shrine we are. I say let's rest up before we do need our mana. So yeah, replenish my mana. Yeah, mana full. Now let's fall down the right way. Right from there. You fall down from there, you will take some damage by falling down from here. But I think this is the best place to fall down from. 
Now over here there is this celestial pair. You can pick up this whatever this is if you want. Jade Lotus I'm pretty sure yeah. Plenty of jade lotuses I have and their seeds and whatnot. So now explore this area people. Please be steel ginseng. Nope, gentian. So I just need steel ginseng for my trophy man. Keep ignoring the enemies or fighting the enemies up to your wish. I do not have any intention of fighting anyone now. So I am ignoring them. There is a tree pearl or something. Could be a fragrant wine. Go and get it now. It's not definitely not a fragrant wine. So from here, you come over here. This is nothing. This guy is a spirit guy. That means he is tough no fit. And we got him. See, this is where I have this lava monster. Here's my spirit because this guy can actually burn, does a lot of burn damage and most enemies take burn damage, especially the enemies in chapter 3. Take a ton of burn damage, these guys. Let's see, then I'll drop this village here as well. And then moving on. I don't suppose there is a meditation so there is a flying enemy chasing me. I am choosing to ignore it. I understand the enemy has started chasing me. But given that it is a stupid as enemy, I have decided to ignore it. This one I have decided not to ignore. Jade Lotus, Jade Lotus. This that Chris crap. Something in error. See, we'll absorb for you over here, right here. And then this area. This is the area where we can. Wait, stop it. Fall down here, and this will bring us to that treasure. Man, first line where he will show his two colors that we have been helping the enemy so far and you will smack yourself on your head and you will cry and then you'll be like why did i do that but now that you've done that there is nothing about it this fight is a bit tricky i might die here because this guy is a pain in the butt because the problem with him is he transforms into a ring and then runs around the whole map and you cannot actually damage him while he's in his ring form. Come over here and this idiot will show his two colors. And this is the same guy we had been helping so far. Let me help you end your sorry life. Now he's in his ring form again. He does a lot of burn damage on us. And this fight actually has phases so he will almost always turn into Now there are two rings. Thank <laughs> you. 
ready to go green cap did yet today foolhardy nothing more i've done as our brother till we meet again Okay, nothing else here that you can do, so travel back. Well, you have to see, I think Forest of Felicity, Book of this, no. Forest of Felicity is where we should be going. Now I'm just gonna run past everyone here. This is this area we have explored thoroughly. There is the other fireplace, and on the right also we have explored everything. So if something is missing, as I said in chapter six, I will do a run back. But I don't think I will need to. Still, I would say half hour of this chapter left. But there are, as I said, a lot of spirits and a lot of things to pick up. If I wanted to rest through this chapter, I can probably make it in uh, the next 10-15 minutes. But that is not what we are doing for is it? Okay, open that chest up. Now these two enemies, you see that? Up there, two enemies standing above us. These two enemies you have to farm for a particular curio and you will end up farming them because the drop rate is very very low for this type. Your turn, Dumbo. Not gonna drop anything for me now, but as I said, now there's a big enemy here. This one almost always drops. A, see, this is a spirit enemy or something. He always drops something. Useful. drop anything? No? Hmm. He does drop something every time you come to him. Maybe an armor piece or something. Maybe it's this one or there's another one here ahead. Oh, this. Could be the other one. Okay. Let me just yeah, there's a chest. I thought uh, there was something else. Okay, there's a bad enemy. Again, this is something useful, I believe, in your first run. Oh, yeah. And this one. This is one of the four captains. We've already killed two. 
this is captain number three you can find him just dead over here where do you interact with this body man oh yeah here yeah. take spirit of captain illusion whatever his name is You're supposed to fight this enemy as well, but you know, cut content. There's supposed to be total 12 or 13 chapters in this game, man. And there are only 6. So, of course, in their effort to release this game. If you check the earlier trailers of this game, they have shown some content in those trailers which never came into the game. I mean, not that the game is bad or anything, but yeah, there was content that we never got. And that is one issue. Is this lotus, golden lotus hitting me from some this area, hitting me from there, idiot lotus. And it's dead already. Oh, there's this bad fighting what enemies or something. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Now that everybody is dead, I'm gonna kill this guy. Come here, waste up. Oh, did I need to die as I okay rest up. Okay, now on the right is the main route. On the left is a Luigi fragrant wine and an awakened wine worm among other things. And also there will be two of these flying enemies that have been annoying us so far. Over here, yeah. Oh, just one of them. Let him come here. Right. Four attacks, huh? They are afraid of this idiot joining the fight and this idiot to join the fight after all. Just continue with this area. Oh yeah, continue this way. Down there is my oh, tower of karma shrine. This is something that looks familiar, but we've already been that way. Don't worry about going that way. You can go here through the upper area, or you can go here through this area. It will make no little difference. There is a big guy here we have to face. He's over there, and over here, there is an awakened wine worm being guarded by a giant pig like enemy. You see this guy. Oh, this is actually a giant cat, huh? And the jar above this one. This is your awake. Oh, this is your awakened wine one. 
Okay, after you take this awakened wine worm, you continue down this trail. And this trail is where we will find two of these flying enemies. And they will be guarding a Luigi of Evident Wine Worm. Oh, he hit me. Kill this idiot first. Because you're about to have two of these. Raptastic! Oh, fantastic. Saved by that one. Kill this idiot, kill this idiot. Thank you. Now your turn, bro. Oh, he dodged it. Crap, I said, you dodged that, you idiot. Die now. This is the, like, the best guarded Luigi of Agrant Wine. Like, no other Luigi of Agrant Wine is guarded so well. Unless this one is. So these two enemies, pain, man. These two enemies are a pain. Genuine pain. Decent pain in the butt. But anyway, we cut them. We can move on and move on and move on. Nothing else to see here except a couple of stupid enemies. Uh, keep going. There's another big guy over here which we are supposed to face. I'm just looking for him. Yeah, there he is. See the big guy. Behind him, I believe there's a chest as well. I'm not sure about that. I am pretty sure there is one just about. And you see, gold spike plate. He always drops gold spike plate. Told you I'll get your curio. Now that he's dead, let me check. There is a chest here, right? Not a, yep, there is a chest here. There's another idiot guard in there. This chest also has some useful materials. So make sure you get them. Like in your first run, this will be useful. Almost all these chests will be useful in your first run. Oh, I can either teleport back or run back. Let's just run back to see in case there's anything we missed in our first run. I have. Now we go straight in this direction where I told you the main stories and we'll find the fourth captain here. Final captain. And then we can go complete one more quest. See there he is standing right there. This is also a bit tricky boss fight but thankfully he does not put any debuffs on us I think this is too ever
Yeah, Captain Talpa will. Dodge my heavy attack, man. Ooh, this door totally sucks. Ah, use the fan, use the fan. See, the fan was under the ring, or against this guy. I'm going to use my minions as well. Oh, nice hit. Turn down. Go down, Captain. Go down. Almost down. And defeated. And I think we can take his spirit as well. Now we have all the spirits. The spirit of Captain Kalpa Wave, Captain Illusion whatever, Captain Vice Vision and Captain Lotus Vision. So now you can unlock a new weapon. Let me go and show it to you. First of all, you come here. Now we are at the new Thunderclap Temple. This is where we will end the chapter. But this area again, another huge area. Like this area is bigger than the forest of Felicity that we were just in. Confident about this. Okay. First of all, come over here, pick up this chest. There might be something here. Uh, no. Over here, I think there is just a uh, spirit point. Yeah, that enemy, and there are some spirit absorbs. Uh. Okay, he's dead. Lot of monks there and all praying to someone. And you kill them and you absorb this pressure. Let me go to the shrine and let me tell you what to do. Now what you have to do is you go to the pagoda realm. New west, pagoda realm and lower pagoda. You see this guy? He is supposed to be right here, not here. Yeah, nice jump attack you did and nothing turned out from that, so what? Is this guy wake up? No, this is a sneaked mushroom. Nice. Mm, and here we are. Now, who is trying to fight me? You're trying to fight me, you did, huh? Are we done? 
So this guy, talk to him. Oh, it's you. And I see you've slain one of my four loyal captains. Can you free them from that pay? And you give back. Bringing them back. The suffering has ended. And he'll give you something. And you can talk to him again, but no, there's no point. So that is one question. Now I am just gonna return back to Thunder Club Temple and continue on. I could have teleported, but that would have included a loading screen. And right after that, we need to teleport again, so that will be another loading screen. I did not want to do that. But before I go to Thunderclap Temple, I just want to check if I can get some ginseng. Towers of Karma. <clears throat> Alright, so from the temple entrance end of this area, this temple is actually a big area. We have to get all the way to the end there. There is a lot of stuff we can go there and get on the right. There is stuff we can go and get in front. And there is an enemy we have to farm here, particularly for a particular armor piece, which we will do. But before that, let's start from the right. Let's see if there are enemies here. I think here. Uh, on the right, I do know there is a boss fight which is going to be super annoying because. My chill resistance. I think there is a curio or something over here. Hey, anyone? Oh, yeah, this would also lead to another stupid area, I believe. And there are these blind people. So this is the blind people. Okay, he got no mind. I think this guy almost always drops a mind core without. I am going for the straight way for now. Just checking whatever this is. This guy again for an armor piece or a particular curio you have to farm him fighting him without magic. is particularly annoying nice no, done nothing to pick up here I believe but when you get inside be careful there is a lot of stuff to pick up and like you can miss it. This guy is dead. Mm, there is a Kuru here and another one of those. What do you call? Blade enemies, I believe. Yeah. No, nope, not here. Huh, apparently it's not here. So, but as I said, big area. If there is a curio you can pick up here, I think. I think I have already gotten it, so I'm not getting the prompt. But you can definitely pick some stuff up here. And you see these, these yellow people, these are super annoying. On the left, the, we get to complete our fox quest.
Oh, you get a thunder flame seed. Thunder flame seed is, has a decent drop rate. These guys drop a lot of thunder flame seed. Now oh, where's the enemy I'm supposed to fire him? Just going to ignore the enemies and pick up the stuff I need to pick up. I think it's here where there is. He's dead now, he's done. Okay, see another guy. Oh, almost hurt me. Oh, he punched me. Bad punching boy. Yeah, this one. This is a curio or a pill. Something. Thunderstorm. Yeah, this is a curio. And then this idiot you can kill. See this enemy right in front of us. This is the enemy we have to farm. Okay, we need to farm this guy for a particular drop. And we got blood of the iron bull. Nothing else? Oh, we can take his. Oh, we can take his spirit. So there is some spirit. But there are a couple more of these enemies here, and you have to farm these enemies, people. Go on the left, I think we can do the wolf quest and we can meet our, uh, what's his name, our horse NPC. Check on the, on the right, uh, straight ahead is the main way, like to the final boss and stuff. Let's go here, boss. Let's get our quests and stuff done. There's someone inside who's shooting thunder at us. We'll get those guys, don't worry. And then there's some this idiot. Who often throws spells at me? But this kit is not open and I don't think yeah, there's nothing useful here. Let's go to the, oh this is Okay, let's see who else do I kill who else? Uh, they are right above us. He's blind idiot. Always so annoying. Anywho, there is nothing to pick up here. Oh, 
One more idiot up here. Oh man, bad punch. Dead. Now I can hit you to do. Okay, now that these shooters are red, let's go talk to the horse and PC. Who has it been wishing to talk to the horse and PC for a while? Let's go talk to the horse. What an enemy see? No, no, no. Um. My friend, Yellow Wind Red, only after meeting him. I'm just gonna skip his dialogue. I came peace his grace speak this joke. Ah, my king once, now I too. So, my friend. Ah, my king once sought wisdom, now I too. So, my friend. I tried the path with me, now I just want to repeat his lines. There is a god here, or something. Oh. Still here, I think. You got body clean powder, but there's a curio or a pill here, you understand, right? These small boxes usually have curios or soaks or pills. With that said, there is an enemy I can hear, but I cannot see, so I'm not wasting my time. Around here, there are... There is a chest, I think. No, they're just very... There are a lot of will, uh, like places where you can grab will here. I'm just going to ignore most of it. Let me check. I don't think there's anything useful on the left. There might be some enemies. I don't think you have any spirit enemy or something like that. There's just that guy guarding. Yeah, nothing else there useful. I'm ignoring that part. I'm getting shock and frost built up on me for no reason at all. Okay, so... Okay, so now we have to do the non-void boss fight. For that, make sure you have the fox brush equipped, you see? Snow fox brush. Transform into the fox and then move in here. This will trigger a cutscene. And this will put you into the non-void boss fight. I'm just gonna skip it. And I'm going to it. Move, don't move, non white. Ah, they are, you move. Told you not to move, bro. Pardon. Nothing, not even the scriptures, can free me from this dream. The nature of your gods. This is all my deed. I've brought this upon myself.
Okay, yeah, take his spirit. Now, non void done. Was he guarding anything? No. A lot of stuff here to do. I just don't know if we should do. Like if you go over here, there is a will gather point here. There are enemies around here, but you cannot go inside there. So I don't think any use for doing that. Same with this side. I'm just checking in case there's a chest or something that needs to be opened. If I miss it, I will... No, there's nothing here. Here, a few other enemies roaming around. You can kill them if you want to kill them. I usually just choose to ignore them. That said, we have done the horse NPC, we have done anything and everything else. This guy you see up there, very annoying guy. Getting to him is a pain and then he teleports or something and he is constantly, almost constantly berating you with a scrap stick. Almost constantly he is berating you with spells. Oh crap! This sucks. This just sucks. I don't think I can get I got him. Calm down, yeah, thank you. This is very annoying that desire to kill him. Like he can annoy the living essence out of you. There's another pill here and nothing else I think. Just some enemies here there's this celestial pear or tree pearl that you can get. Tree pearl it is. Pick these up because you never know any one of them can be a triple seed. You guys might be missing out on some seeds. I am also missing out. These guys are blind. So they don't actually see you but they hear you. So you can, you know, as you guys are missing, do your charge up your attack and you get to them. Oh, he got his combo in and I was about to get my combo in. Anyway, these are dead. This is a pill for sure. I get nothing out of these because seriously, item converted to will. Ah, another one of these demons. We need this demon. Both of them died together. Awesome. Okay, this is the enemy you have to farm. You know the sword legged enemy? You have to farm him, people. Here you see so many disciples sitting around. That one guy looks like he's trying to teach them. And there is nothing useful there, actually. You can ignore this. You can ignore all of this. If you see a chest or something here, like this one. Yeah, pick this up. Open this chest up. This is what I was looking for, actually. I knew there was something here, but I could not for the life of me figure out what was there. Okay, now that he is dead, you come over here, back to where your horse NPC was. And we run back to the other way now. This is some backtracking, choose to, yeah, feel free to skip to the next 20-30 seconds while I run around. Like, we'll have to go the other way. Thank <laughs> you. 
not a lot of stuff for that we should be caring about here. Maybe one of those guys is a spirit demon, I am not sure. I get these guys spirit or not. Uh, there you go, level 165 I am. Roaming around I am. Lots of enemies over there from there to here you can try to kill them. I should to usually know them because they are not much other lot of Will absorb point over there I'm going to get That is done, that is done, that is done. What is it? Don't think these guys come over here. Now you see that four-legged enemy right in front of you, that guy is actually extremely well protected. Do not go rushing in to fight him. First go over here, kill this guy, see? And then all through these railings you will see these storms, like lightning, magic guys. And they will keep hitting you with lightning all across. So, whole map if they if you aggro them and while you are fighting the other enemy you will pretty much for sure aggro them which is why i said don't run straight to fight that enemy because you will pretty much die you will not know you will be hit with a ton of lightning and you will not know where and from where like from where who what is hitting you with that with lightning that the lotus and plant and this this one put this fire I think quickly this test uphold ya Than this you get over there. Okay, so now that he is dead, for walking up the walkway, come over here, kill this guy.
This is another pill or maybe a curio. Mm, three times. Oh, this is a drink or something. So if we drink some soap, curios, pills. Got another three times. You did people. Congratulations. Now let's do a mini boss fight or a secret boss fight, whatever you want to call it. Optional boss encounter. He's like running over here. Ooh, crap, Ooh, you hit me. I thought I had a dodge. Come on, die, bro. I'm not out of here. And your turn, bro. Hmm, we got another mind core. Okay, this area is explored. All, all explored out, I believe. Kill this guy, but don't move too ahead because there's a boss right behind him. And move into... We'll trigger it. Okay, now when you move here, the boss will spawn. There it is. Burn him. The burn does a lot of damage. Oh, he's dead already. Ooh, burning damage, huh? <laughs> Just don't take it, bro. Could you? And you pick it up. Oh, this is a transformation. There you go, people. Congratulations. Now, I think we're done with this area. Now there are a lot of small enemies here and I think there's something worth picking up here. any fragrant wines or anything but I think we are good for this chapter already. I know there is a chest or something over here. Let me see what is over here. It is like nothing. Oh he's dead. So we'll absorb point of water. Okay. Now I guess maybe, maybe, just very slightly, maybe I've ignored uh, Luigi of Fragrant Wine or something here. No, oh, we can wine worms or anything, ignored for sure. Uh, there is a chest here and a lot of these small minions starting it. Choose to kill them, choose to not... Ooh. Someone made some noise. Oh no, someone exploded into... I just pick it up and that's it. Okay, a lot of whiteness, and this one has some other 
use full stuff as well. These enemies, ignore them, fight them, do whatever you want to them. This is actually the area on the right from the shrine. Like I'll take you all the way back to the shrine and show you where we would have uh, how would we could have come here. Like see this. This is the shrine. The shrine is right ahead. We went straight from the shrine which was over there. You see, we went over there. If you had come on over here, you could have covered this area. So this is like a whole, like a circle type or a square type area that we have covered. So now that we have covered everything, I am just going to quickly rest up. Then I am going to farm the four-legged enemy. And while I'm farming the four-legged enemy, I'll just show you the fight where I actually do get him and kill him. So this is just going to edit out to me killing the guy. And there, uh, when I get the uh, required armor piece out of him, I will continue the fight from there. That there is nothing else in this area. I've shown you everything else in this area, apart from that. Okay, so actually while I'm grinding for that Vajra piece of armor from the four legged creature, there's also one more grind that I'm doing. Come to where the longevity shrine and from here we are going to run all the way this way where we found our awakened wine worm. The enemy there is like a turtle head enemy or something. I mean there are enemies here you can face if you want but I'm just going to run past everyone. And as I'm running past everyone this guy is gonna wake up and try to hit me but I'm going to run dodge past him. Then start charging up my heavy while I'm running and come to this guy. And right here, hit him with your heavy attack. And this is the guy we have to fight for the turtle head piece of armor, I guess. So to farm for that and then travel back. So these are the things I'm grinding. Uh, I think you will, I'll just edit out the section where you will see I'm grinding this turtle head enemy, that four legged Vajra enemy for the Vajra piece or whatever it is, I don't remember the name. And Jinseng in Towers of Karma for Steel Jinseng. But first, I'm going to go ahead and finish the Fox quest. So, from Valley of XTC, go to Forest of Felicity. And over here, just talk to the Fox that we did that gave us the snow fox brush and it will give us a cure and we'll just skip it and there you go the quest has been complete you have the snow fox brush curio and i'm going to travel back to longevity road and i'll just edit out the next section for you people There you go people, Skull of Turtle Treasure, got it. Now this headgear is what you should equip actually when you are trying to grind for uh, uh, like pieces of armor or material because this one model increases the charge of any materials upon killing an enemy. 
equip this and that is one more piece of armor done for the course hope you enjoyed it and now we can move on Okay, hold up. I think I teleported too quickly. Let me just check my equipment. Yep, Vajra Arm Guard. We got it, people. This is the Arm Guard we were looking for, and we have it. So that means now we have technically nothing left to work, uh, worry about. I am going to go ahead and equip my Bull King set. This one, I'll keep this one. And the helmet, I'll keep the helmet. Can to Vulcan, Temporal Enhanced Moderate Defense. Yeah. I like that the Vulcan shirt is going to increase my defense. And now we can actually happily move along. I'm going to skip some enemies and just rush to the next area. There is one or maybe two boss fight left, and then there's the final boss. Just one was ready for the final boss now. Guys, that. Oh, they be dropping like flies, and I be not caring at all. Okay. What can you do? I don't care, I don't care. An annoying little man. Oh, okay, super annoying little man. Okay, now that we are here, this is where we fought the four-legged beast for the spirit, the supercharged guy, and beyond that, as I told you, is the main boss fight. We are done with all the secret areas and the secret boss fights and whatnot of this particular chapter. I know, chapter 3 has gone on so freakishly long, man. So, so, so long. But I... We are essentially done with it now. <clears throat> and over here we do have a boss fight I think I don't know non some like I have fought non white non able and non white this might be non pure mm, honestly I do not remember but not to worry Let's 
Do no damage to me. <laughs> funny, funny. I just hit left. I'm going to some passive damage off my own. Good, so I'm sure done in one. So she can combo and oh, he's gone. This is a meditation spot. There you go, people. Final meditation spot of chapter 3. Son of Scriptus. Now that that is I suppose we are done here. Yep, now it's just a final boss fight left. Gonna show that to you. And that will thankfully be the end of chapter 3. Very, very, very painful end. Long chapter, man. Really long chapter. I honestly don't know how it is going to turn out when I get on the edits. But still, yeah. God damn it, long chapter, my boy. Let me avoid the shrine. Messed up, my armor set and everything is. Don't know what, don't know why. But I'm just gonna go and do the. There are some well gathered spots here or there. There might be a chest. But nothing significant. Simple chest. Or not. This is a good cutscene, but I'm gonna skip it. Now let's fight yellow bro. No, no, no.
Yeah, this is a story. My sack awaits misguided souls. Like you. Not skip this unfortunately. Enter within and find enlightenment. Now we fight the monkey tree. <laughs> cannot skip this question at all. We are going to transform into the monkey. That takes a minute to load something. Can you think? Okay, now we are monkey. This one to play.
that. Do some damage to him with the money. Finally chapter 3 complete with us. Congratulations. Now see the animation. Yeah, this animation technically uh, describes how yellow broke the 
they gained control of a small fishing village and he came here as a person that was just like, what, like a beast who like if you cut him he would bleed drills and drill or something and then people start playing him and everything and then they destroyed him he wanted to make a point that humans are actually there you see they are trying to burn him or kill him but he cuts himself to show them that he gives birth and if you see yeah, I'm gonna skip it now but if you check the whole that animation it says Sage. It shows and that even though the people were getting richer, the conditions were still very miserable. Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellow Brown? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? Okay, next chapter.